Greetings! It helps when I un mute my mic. <laughs> How is everybody? Greetings! I am Resplendent Seraph, and I hope everybody had a good America's birthday. Uh, for those of you north of the border, uh, happy, uh, <laughs> goodness gracious. I just watched the celebration of that on Thursday when Sal was up there, and I've already forgotten. Is it is it just Happy Canada Day, or am I just totally blanking? I think it is something. I, I, oh my God. I'm forgetting my holidays, but, uh, in my defense, I just did a whole bunch of yard work. My brain is not necessarily turned on at the moment. Uh, but yes, greetings, everybody. I hope everybody's having a great holiday week. Uh, it's always nice to enjoy festivities and spend time with family and just kind of get a relax, get a, a break from work and everything else. I'm enjoying a couple of nice days off. I was going to stream yesterday, uh, but with 4th of July and installing this thing behind me, uh, I was just, I was just gone. Um, but did get, did get this, uh, blackout shade installed and, uh, it looks, at least for me, it looks pretty nice. It's still a little bright outside. So I have it lifted just a little, uh, to lift, uh, let a little light in. And then as, uh, as the day goes on here, I'll, I'll open it up so we can see the beautiful Florida sunset. But without any major ado here, with just a little, little bit of ado. I'm going to be playing MechWarrior 5 for the first time on stream. It's a game I've played a couple of times, but I'm really rusty, and there have been a couple of DLCs that I didn't get a chance to play. So we picked up, or at least I picked up, the Melee DLC. I might take a little bit of a look at that. I usually don't mess around too much with Melee, but at least it'll be a nice option. It was on Steam sale, so of course Seraph had to pick it up, just like I had to pick up E6 and E8. Uh, I ended up picking up uh, a couple of other things too. An item shop, uh, Recre uh, Recreator, I think it is, an item shop's tale. That looks like a really fun, chill game. Might do that on stream at some point. But um, so yeah, uh, for anybody that, that uh, watched, most likely you're going to be watching this on YouTube, but for anybody that drops in or has already dropped in, uh, Mech Warrior 5 takes place in the Battletech universe. And the general gist is it's 30, it's essentially a 31st century combat game where uh, we're going to be running around in gigantic building-sized robots as we pilot them. And it's a bunch of really, really sci-fi-y pew-pew action. But it's a really interesting universe in that it's uh, sort of inspired from the Middle Ages, where after the Roman Empire fell, a lot of various technologies, for example, concrete, how to make it, 
uh, other various architectural techniques, a lot of really advanced concepts kind of went by the wayside and you, uh, you know, you had the dark ages. And so in the Battletech universe, you have something very similar. You have the fall of the Star League and then a series of civil wars called the Succession Wars in which rival powers deemed it uh, strategically important to destroy R&D facilities, various factories. And so the various industrial capabilities of the successor states unfortunately degraded because sometimes just technologies ended up getting lost uh, because of the, the sheer destructive scale of those succession wars. And some various other developments within the lore of the setting helped conspire to foment this environment, shall we say. But it's a really interesting idea. And so we in MechWarrior 5, we're going to be running a mercenary company and we're going to try and go through the entirety of this game from start to finish. We're going to do a couple of DLCs as well. We're going to do a couple of the Heroes of the Sphere DLCs in which are really just kind of more, more detailed random missions, essentially. And there is a very interesting DLC called uh, Legend of the Kestrel Lancers. We're going to be playing that as well. That is fantastic. That is a great, great DLC. But uh, so that's the plan here. So now with that in mind, let's kind of go in game. Let's fire this up. I was a little aggressive with my audio. I thought I would experiment with this one and turn the volume up a little bit. Because now that i am got my side chaining configuration set up the way I like it, my suspicion is that um, that I'll have the audio set up so that you could hear it really well, but then when I talk, it'll it'll the volume will, will reduce. And so uh, anyway, that's an experiment. In the event that I'm still getting washed out by the audio of the game, just let me know, and I'll I'll kind of dial back the aggressiveness. But I think this is going to work out really well. It's also been so long since I've played this game basically don't remember any of the controls. So we're going to watch Seraph re-remember how to play this shit. So I think we want to do a new campaign. Uh, I think that's what I want. Yeah, we'll we'll do the tutorial because I it's been so long since I played this. In oh. 2108, humanity began colonizing the stars. Their reach would eventually span a vast region of space known as the Inner Sphere. During its golden age, under the governance of the Star League, the Inner Sphere experienced unprecedented peace, prosperity, and technological advancement. But with a great rise, yep, robots fighting. comes a great fall. Beset by greed and mistrust, humanity splintered. The Star League crumpled. Technological advancement slow. The great houses, each vying for supremacy, turned on one another, engaging in a series of conflicts known as the Succession Wars. Amidst this chaos, mercenaries became the proxy forces for the great houses. Numerous battlefields sprung up across the inner sphere, dominated by hulking war machines known as Battle Max. I have not, but I need to. Is now 3015. I've heard so many good things about Titanfall. Behemoths have become the tools of the mercenaries' trade. It's a lucrative time, yet one beset with perils of all kinds. Only the most skilled and brave among them will rise to become legend. That's Apex. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes the robots in the various games, they can look very similar to one another. There's also a lot of very similar design choices between the Battletech universe and Macross. Macross slash Robotech. Captain Mason, please report to the hangar for testing. The Centurion is waiting for you. 
Oh, and there's my cat meowing. I'm up here, cat! Okay, what's going on here? Yeah, I would help I actually add this one as well. Frame rate's a little, uh, iffy. Huh. Okay, it looks like it's recovered. Ah, uh, there we go. That's a victor. Gives you the scale of these things pretty well. There you are. Come on, everyone's waiting. Get to the Centurion at the far end of the hangar and we'll get started. All right, so he's referring to that mech over there. Of course, they're not going to let me even go out there so I don't get crushed by that gigantic battle mech. Oh, and there's a Shadowhawk being prepared. Now it's letting me out here. Perfect. You know, I have done a bunch of... The game did do a bunch of updates, so maybe I should check the graphics settings here. Let's check the options. Am I doing anything totally ridiculous? No. V-Sync. Uh, V-Sync doesn't need to be... V-Sync doesn't need to be on. Uh, DLSS quality is okay. I don't have... Ray tracing on. Everything in here looks okay. Although I could always dial some of these down. Everything looks okay. Yeah, it looks like it's recovered. Let's go over and go inside my Centurion here and we'll do this. Do this tutorial really fast. While Seraph relearns how to play the game. <laughs> if I remember correctly, the tutorial doesn't last all that long. Son, Fahad wants us to run the Centurion through its paces to see how it does. He spent months getting it operational again after we recovered it from that ruined factory on Ramen 2. What a bloody shit all that place was. <laughs> Hopefully nothing explodes during the test, mate. I'm pretty confident you won't need to eject. No promises though, eh? He's joking, I think. Go on and power her up. We have to Good. Fahad? Online. Yeah, bring it up the systems now. Okay. Armor and structure display up. Weapon systems up. Tactical display up. Everything looks good to go. Right. Keep in mind there's parts on that mech that are at least 200 years old. So ease it forward slowly and we'll see how it goes. And don't forget to hit the brake once you're clear of the hangar. Right, and they don't have the fading one. Let's Look at her go, right? That. That's my girl. She's a beauty, isn't she? Certainly is. Okay, engage reverse throttle and navigate into the waypoint I've set up. Use your tactical display to see where you're going. Nice work. Now revert to your drone cam. Oh, right. Let's Which I rarely use. Right rotation test. Okay, so this rotates that way, and this okay. rotates this way. Now let's make sure the torso is working properly. Try looking around in all directions. Good. As you can see, the torso rotates independently from the legs. Your direction of movement, therefore, may differ from the direction you're actually looking. If you check your tack screen, you can see your current leg orientation is represented by the dotted line, and your torso orientation is represented by the cone. Right, that makes sense. That's, That's right. Good. The mobility course is next. Show me how fast you can get through those turns while still hitting each of the waypoints. What am I supposed to be doing? We're going through that door, aren't we? Okay, X is full stop. That's good. Oh. You want me going this way? Yeah, I should have figured that out. Okay, now. Okay. This one. Now, I'm not a big fan of this view. Switching. work. Okay. The Centurion was made to have a good balance between speed and firepower. Perfect. All we have to do now is find out if the weapon systems work. 
So let's go into controls because one of these, those are what I'm used to. Uh, toggle throttle decay, right? Num plus. Okay. So what do you mean if the weapons? There we go. You know Perfect. how long I spent stripping each one of those components and putting them back together again? They'll bloody well work, mate. <laughs> that's right. Okay, that's how that works. Let's go shoot some stuff. Follow me. You know, back when I was your age, I once slammed the hunchback I was piloting right into my instructor's javelin. Oh man, was he pissed. Come on, Demason. Yeah, go ahead, Rihanna. Thought you'd want to know that all repairs to the Leopard have been completed. We're now spaceworthy and ready to take on our next contract. How's the kid faring? Huh. He's a natural, just like his old man. <laughs> I see humility is still in short supply, as usual. Just don't break that mech. We need it in full working order. No problem there. Although, he, she says that and then my dad immediately crashes right into the wall here. Alright, so I'm going over here, and then we'll... Weapon systems are now online, gents. Be okay. gentle, hey. What do we got here? Alright, so AC-10 is that one. Yeah, right. That's a lot of bollocks, isn't it? <laughs> Alright. I've mapped the autocannon to weapon group one. You're free to fire whenever you're ready. Okay, he's gonna make me shoot that. So fine. Uh, I am shooting the right stuff. Okay. They just want me to be blowing up some other stuff. Okay. Take note of your ammo levels. Always remember to manage your reserves. You run out of shells in the middle of a firefight. That's actually a decent amount of AC-10 ammo. Lasers are mapped to weapon group two. Fire them when ready. And these on a Centurion are mounted on the torso. So you really don't get a whole lot of options of how you're gonna aim these. All right, that's good enough. Those lasers generate significant heat. You can see the temperature readout next to your armor and structure display. Yeah, All weapons works. generate heat when fired. Actually, this is coming back to me pretty quickly. We probably could have skipped the, and it could the tutorial. Down, so keep that in mind. Now for the fun stuff. Long range missiles are set to weapon group three. The target lock has been disabled for the moment, but never mind that. Just go ahead and fire at will. Well, as you can see, LRMs don't track unless you have a target lock on something. Yep, they're as dumb as a post without it. Let's try targeting a drone first, and this time before you fire your LRMs. Acquired. It makes a hell of a difference having that target lock, doesn't it? Next step is to test moving and firing at the same time. Mouse should be alright. I think this sensitivity is okay. Move through the aerial combat course as quickly as you can and shoot the drones down. I'll meet up with you on the other side. Target acquired. Target destroyed. No, it's over here. There's that one. Got it. One behind me. Target acquired. Oh, okay, we got Target it anyway. Destroyed. Yeah, I'm going to have to get used to the uh, firing arcs. It's very easy to, uh, if you're really close to something, to shoot that instead of your target. Debating whether or not I want to have the uh, diminishing 
throttle, but I think I like setting it on the number pad so I don't have to constantly use that. Rather than my AC-10. Since I only have a finite, although 73 shots of an AC-10, that's pretty crazy. Now take up a position by the barricade. Okay, I've projected three mechs, each with differing damage profiles. You should see them in the ravine below. Target the first one on your left. You can zoom in on the target for a more accurate shot, if you need to. Targeting and telemetry seem to be working. Note the center torso on that first mech. It's reading heavily damaged. Destroying the CT will destroy the mech no matter its relative condition. Go ahead and destroy the center torso. Damn, I didn't destroy it in that hit. There we go. Second mech. Both legs are heavily damaged. With one leg destroyed, mechs become easy targets. Both legs, <laughs> it's over for them. Take out both legs. You'll also get better salvage by taking out the legs. Nicely we done. The cockpit on that third mech is seriously damaged. It's a difficult shot to make, especially in the chaos of battle. But the fastest way to take out a mech and some mechs eliminate the pilot. You get you can get headshots on them a lot easier than others. The there you go. Now we're almost done. The battle simulation I've set up for you is the last hurdle. Follow me. You're gonna go head to head with an urban mech. They're slow and poorly armored. Yeah, trash cans. They look like trash cans. <laughs> This guy looks better than I remember it looking. One of the patches may have improved it. Or it's just been a while and I just don't remember. Okay, we were able to get through that boulder. Thought I'd get stuck on it. But still, it's good to go through this anyway, just in case there's shit I don't remember. Ah, I'm inside minimum range, fuck. Come on, buddy. Damn, I'm still inside minimum range of this shit? Fine. That's a problem. Yeah, we go. Got it. Nice work. I think we can call it a day. The Centurion seems fully fit and ready for battle. Let's head back. I love some of the, uh, oh, Comstar. <laughs> Comstar office, they're space AT&T. <laughs> yeah, I love some of the billboards you see. When we get back to the base, we'll buy Bod a few beers to say thanks. Yeah, of course, we'll have to listen to him gripe about how rough we are on his battle mechs. Small price to pay, I suppose, for having one of the best mechanics in the entire inner sphere. End of tutorial. Now, some games you do the tutorial, you end up with more money or they'll give you some sort of a reward for it. This one I don't think does. Ah, uh, year 3015. We're on the rendezvous point, but our contact isn't here. You see anyone, son? The salvage crates at the last checkpoint were empty. Now, something's up if they're missing payments. This is Commander Mason of Major Campbell. Make a note. Looks like someone is going to need a lesson in paying their bills on time. That's odd. What the hell? Commander Mason, I repeat. Knowledge. I have a visual. Well, explains why they're late. We are evacuating. We need to take what we have and go. The fastest way is across the swamp. Captain, where are you going? It's possible they left the cash at the last checkpoint in the city. Let's get the money and run, Commander. This is reckless. 
We need to get back to base. They're distracted with the invasion. We'll be in and out before they know we're here. Oh, let's hope it's not us they're after. I don't like this, son. This is a ghost town. We're close. I can smell the sea bills. There's nothing here. Relax. We'll be out of here in no time. We're being tagged! Look out! Incoming airstrike! It's amazing how quickly things can go from zero to a hundred in the Battletech universe. Captain Mason, what's your status? I'm fine, Commander. Left arm is offline is all. That was close. Return to base now. I am not leaving you behind. We were set up, and you're in no shape to fight. Meet me at the extraction point with the Leopard. Go! Now, Captain! Damn it. On the move. And mind you, for a Centurion, losing the left arm is no problem. There's nothing valuable on that Centurion left arm. I've got eyes on. Identified. It's almost like free armor. Damn it. Brianna, any idea what these guys want? I picked up some chatter about coordinates of some kind. That mean anything to you? Coordinates? No, Brianna. Promise me you won't leave without Jake. Promise me. Commander, I promise. Rifleman, Thunderbolt. Lady singing. I'm sorry, Captain. I have to get us out of here. Hold tight. Yeah, that was a king crab. <laughs> Commander, sorry to wake you, but our Citrep has changed. Head to the bridge as soon as possible. Actually, that was a perfectly timed ad break. Pretty much just covered the entire loading screen process of that. But, let me see what my cat's meowing about. So give me just two seconds while I check on my cat, and I need a refill of my soda. Anyway, give me two seconds. I'll be right back. 
All right, all right. I'm coming, kitty, kitty. I'm coming. What do you want? What do you need? Okay. Yep. Pat just. Pat just wanted a pet. Didn't actually want anything. <laughs> That's all right. She's allowed to be a brat. She's a brat. Cat. 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 All right. So let's see what the update is from Rihanna here. Kind of sit rep man center here. Commander, good to see you up. We haven't really had a chance to speak since your father was killed. I'm not much for sentimentality, but I worked with your father for a long time. He was a good man. Hell, he sacrificed his life to save ours. I don't know what's going to happen next, but whatever it is, I'd like to be part of it. I'd like to stay on as your ops commander. That is, if you'll have me. You kidding me? Your family, Rihanna. Or as close as I have now. Besides, I'm gonna need you. Yes, I suspect you will. About Isitrep, it's not great news. Those bastards that came after us are in the process of setting up a blockade of the system. Which means we're going to be trapped here with a tightening noose around our necks unless we do something about it. Who are these guys? Another mercenary outfit by the looks of it. I don't know more than that at the moment. And these coordinates they were looking for? Not a clue, but we're going to find out. First things first, we need transport out of the system. That means a jump ship. I sent out a transmission right after the attack through the HPG. The message was for a longtime client of your father's and an old friend of mine. Name is Spears. He has powerful connections. I'm hoping he can help us out. Until I hear back from him, there's nothing we can do except lay low. In the meantime, Fahad wants to see you down in the hangar. The Centurion needs repairs and he wants to discuss them with you. I'll let you know when I hear back from Spears. Copy that. Yeah, Centurion got fucked up. Bahad is over here. So here's our main hangar of the Leopard, which a Leopard is a dropship. Um, pretty much dropships are spaceships that just aren't capable of interstellar travel, but they can perform drops. So hence, the Battletech universe just calls them dropships. Uh, so there's one bay for a battle mech. Right now it's empty. Same over here. Or nope, that's a, uh, that's a javelin. Javelin's a, a pretty good light mech, actually. It tends to punch above its weight. The Centurion is a very good medium mech also. And so there's our Centurion. 
Uh, the AC-10 was okay, but yeah, the left arm got completely blown off. Let's, uh, let's head back this way. We'll head down to the main floor of the hangar deck. I actually wish we could have explored more of it. I know there's a mod that expands the Leopard. I'm a little hesitant to expand to play with too many mods. I have installed a few quality of life ones, but I didn't go overboard with it. Hey, mate. Figured you'd want an update on the Centurion. Took a bloody beating back there, so fair warning. It's going to be a while before she's operational again. Means you're going to have to get comfortable with the light mech over in Bay 1 for now. She's a good girl. Won't let you down to treat her, right? I'll do my best. Yeah, heard that before. Anyways, you know the drill. Access the repair terminal here. Once you're done, I'll get started on the work, eh? Okay? Alright, so we go over here. Let's repair our battle mechs. And kind of gives us a brief tutorial here. I don't think I need this tutorial. This is pretty self-explanatory. But, um, any event, I'll kind of walk everybody through that. So we're going to repair this mech. So we could just repair the mech, but I'm going to go into the loadout. Because that gives us more, more more of an advanced kind of look at things. And so in here we will have the option for repair all. So we'll do that. Oh, we actually could repair that. Normally, maybe I'm thinking of the Battletech game where you have to go in here and actually replace a component. But it doesn't look like it. So I guess the question is, do we want to actually mess around here? I think we'll just repair this and call it a day. And then we'll start work. There are a couple of factors to show. It also shows what the repairs entail. But when you're not in an industrial zone and there are penalties involved, it just tells us what those penalties will be. So we're in a conflict zone. And so the penalty of doing it here instead of an industrial hub, we have to pay an extra 83,000 C bills to do it. Considering how expensive this is, this really isn't that big of a deal. We also have an 11 day conflict zone penalty. If we were in an industrial hub, this would only take us 36 days. Again, in the grand scheme of things, it's really not that big a deal. We're better off just getting this work started now because to travel to an industrial hub, not that we have that option at the moment, but even if we did have that option, it makes more sense just to get a head start on it. But these will be decisions we will make as we go through the game. There will be many times where I look at that and be like, mm, do we wait or do we repair now? And it depends. It depends on how messed up we are. Uh, it depends on how many mechs need repairs, how severely they're damaged, how close we are to an industrial hub, whether we have anything to do over there anyway. So right now, our mercenary company, we have a reputation of one. I don't think we even... Yeah, a lot of these tabs aren't even available to us at the moment. But we've started repairs on that. We've got a javelin. We're good to go here. Yeah, I'll be glad when I've got the Centurion back. But that javelin can still... Hold hey, its own. Commander. I've received a transmission from Spears in response to my request for help. Take a listen. Rihanna, I received your message. I'm sorry to hear about Nikolai. He was a good man and an even better pilot. He'll be sorely missed. I assume his son will be taking over the operation. Nikolai was always bragging about the boy's skills. Well, I hope he was right. I've begun working on a plan to get you safe passage out of the system. But it's going to take a little time. Ah, I expect plot. you already know by now that whoever attacked you has set up a blockade to prevent your escape. It's a large system, though, so we can use that to our advantage. As soon as you receive this, I want you to proceed to the outermost planet in the system. It's a little more than a hunk of ice with a few leftover mining operations on it. There's an abandoned power station there. Now, I've got it on good authority that local raiders are using it as a secret cache for their ill-gotten goods. I know you can use supplies and materials for your repairs, and I expect you'll find what you need at that location. I've attached the exact coordinates to this message. Once I have a proper plan in place, I'll contact you again. For now, be safe. All right, time to suit up, Commander. I've already input the coordinates. All I need is for you to sign off and get us there. Understood. All right, and so for that, we're just going to go into the console and accept, essentially we're going to accept the mission. Oh, I don't, I don't remember this aquarium being in here for like a little plant. Man, that would be awesome if there was like a lizard in here. Um, but yeah, I don't remember there being too much interesting shit to do on this dropship. Uh, but yeah, we're in charge here now. It'd be cool to go through this. I think this is where the, uh, the bridge of the ship is. 
But we can always go back in here. This is like our personal quarters. And if we interact with this, well, later on, if we interact with this, it'll let us control like the colors of our company, everything else. And so, yep, kind of shows the layout. There's our javelin. This is the centurion. The centurion took a lot of damage. Oh my God. All right, so let's go into the console here. We're gonna view our transmissions, and so we've got a smash and grab by uh, by our C uh, by our XO here. Rion is cool. Uh, she's a super cool character. Uh, I actually, I I think she's a much well done character than than Darius from the battle from the H uh, the Hairbrain schemes the HBS game. Um, I I, th I think she is a much better XO. Not anything against Darius, but. Uh, her intel is much better than his uh, alone. Um, so yeah, it, she's a much, much better XO that, than he is. So this is already like a nice upgrade uh, as far as playing this game. But anyway, all right. So anyway, given this a, a more detailed briefing here, she's going to drop us well away from the target location, then let us do our thing. Target's an abandoned power plant. We know the Raiders have been using the area as a secret cache for whatever goods they've managed to pilfer from the various mining outfits. So with a little luck, we'll be able to recover enough material to finish the repairs on the Leopard and the Centurion. These raiders uh, might be a band of thieves, but don't underestimate them. They'll be motivated to protect their loot. Well, yeah, pirates will be motivated to protect loot. And you can bet they'll be well armed. Stay on point, watch your six. Good luck. All right, let's do it. So we can kind of go into uh, contracts. So yeah, most of these tabs are still grayed out. Then it's a nice part about this game is it kind of eases you into it all. We don't even have control over the map. We can't even decide where we're going yet. But anyway, yeah, that's going to show us all this crap. I, I this I, I don't I don't need a tutorial on this. So, um, yeah, uh, Spears, he works for Interstellar Expeditions. Uh, I think he's actually the CEO of Interstellar Expeditions. They're a um, so they're they're independents. It says indifferent, but I think it's supposed to say independent. <laughs> Uh, oh no, this is our this is our rep. We're right now he's indifferent to us as well as the bandits. Fuck bandits. Unlike the Battletech game, we don't have to curry favor with bandits or raiders or pirates. Fuck them. Uh <laughs> they're they're pieces of shit. So we don't need to uh we don't need to worry about their feelings. Thankfully. Uh we're gonna only do the C bill payout. At this point, we're not getting, in my experience anyway, playing this game, salvage shares. So the more your, uh, the more rep you have, the more dots you'll have to actually improve all these things. So especially early in the game, you just don't have enough reputation points to make salvage shares worth it. This game, unlike the standard Battletech game, they just they just don't give you good enough salvage. And maybe I'll install a mod that improves the salvage situation. But I want to try to play this as vanilla as possible, just so you could see how the salvage situation works. It, in my opinion, until we even get reasonably far in the game it doesn't even make sense to put anything into salvage shares because of the sheer paltry amount that they give you um and then once we get a little further in it'll make a little sense to put a couple in there just for components like heat sinks weapons things of that nature but uh, i think it, unless we get to like near end game where we get enough salvage shares we can actually put a decent number in there we're probably not even going to recover any battle mechs not even to mention that even once you recover a battle mech it's going to cost anywhere between five and 10 million sea bells to repair the stupid thing. And so if I'm remembering correctly, I guess what will happen is we'll, we'll eventually recover a couple of mechs and we'll see what the story is. And so we're right, here we go. Let's, uh, let's ready up. And once we ready up, then I'll go into the uh, weapon group configuration and we'll see what the weapon groups look like. And uh, just like the turn-based Battletech game, we are always going to be outnumbered. Always. <laughs> it's just, okay. just how it goes. The power station is located on the other side of the ridge. You should be able to make your way through the pass undetected. That javelin you're piloting is lightly armed, Commander. But what it lacks in firepower and armor, it makes up in speed and mobility. I'm sure you wish the Centurion was repaired and ready to go. For this particular mission, though, the Javelin is the mech best suited for the job. And hey, it has jump jets. They could come in handy. Right, I forgot. Good try, Rihanna. 
but I'd still rather have the Centurion. Well, can't blame a girl for trying. <laughs> Again, control. Oh, weapon groups. Okay, so um, yeah, that works. We'll we'll stick with that. But also, how do I access the map? I don't want to re. Okay, that's how that works. Throttle decay. Why? I wonder why throttle decay is back on. But either way, I'll turn this back off. Target enemy. R. Target next enemies. T. Okay, right. That's good to know. Right. Toggle chain fire is backspace. That's good to know. Uh, target friendly. I don't know why I would want to target a friendly, but that's how that works. Good. Show battle grid is probably what I want. So it's B. Toggle heat override. Oh, okay. You know, I completely forgot that I even have the heat override. Although if I do, that's going to essentially allow me to damage my mech. So I don't want to do that. Hmm. Toggle ECM mode. Airstrike mode is H. Okay. Right. Right, it's B. The power station being used by these raiders is derelict, Commander. But you can bet its perimeter defenses won't be. My guess, the raiders will have turrets stationed around the perimeter. If that's the case, it means they must have a generator close by. Find and destroy that generator before assaulting the plant, and you'll have a much easier time of it. Got it. Thanks. Heads up, Commander. I'm detecting enemy units up ahead. Could be a raider patrol. Copy. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Target destroyed. You get it? Target acquired. Range 270. Okay, I'm out of range of this bucket. Oh, shit. Got it. Yeah, it took some damage on that. That wasn't great. Yeah, I can't hit that from here. Blocking the path down to the generator. Oh, Use have to your jump over it. To get over it. That was Got shitty. Ah, oh, good. Got it. Got a VTOL. Alright. Perfect. With the generator blown, the turret should be disabled now. Not great that I took a little damage in that, but oh well. Got a couple more here. Yeah, I should play Titanfall. Oh, we got... I don't know if those would have come active later or what, but I'm, I think it's just okay. as well. There's a geothermal power plant up ahead. There's a number of storage buildings in and around the plant itself. I suspect that's where they're storing their loot. Time to smash and grab, Commander. Once you locate a storage crate, more keep a pickup, then move on to the next building. From my initial scans of the site, Got I've it. marked where I think the crates could be located. Look there first. Roger that. Destroying anything that's potentially explosive first. Okay. Yep. Something just activated. Not great. Walk on up to the treasure to pick it up. Good. 
Got it. Something else shooting at me from over here. I think it was you. What the hell just shot at me? There you are. Tank. There we go. Got it. So I knew it was over there somewhere. So the, the kind of point of that was to just maneuver around this box or around this um, building here using that as cover so that whatever was shooting at me couldn't even find me. Sort of the idea there. Alright. We got one. What was that? Yeah, let's go this way. Commander, it appears that Derelict Plant has a network of backup generators running. Destroy them if you can. Okay, I was far enough away from that to not suffer damage from that. <laughs> that was that was too close though. That was too fucking close. Let's see if I could do this without incurring the wrath of a billion that's uh, stirring up a hornet's nest of some sort. Probably unlikely I'm going to be able to do this without stirring up some sort of trouble. Turret. I don't think that turret would, would activate, but no reason to mess around. Mm. Alright, so this is either a really good idea or a really stupid idea. Destroyed. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Yeah, gotta get a little closer to it. Good work, Commander. That's the last of their power generators. Hopefully that means that other than tanks, I don't have anything to worry about. Move up to it, and we'll begin the recovery procedure. Okay. Didn't damage me. Sweet. Wait, there's something else here? Oh, something just showed up over there. Find out what. Okay. Ah, it still hit me in the arm. Damn it. That sucked. Nope, can't get through there. What the hell am I looking for? I'm looking for some sort of package around here. Right? Or are we good? Never mind. Maybe I just needed to walk in that specific place. Rihanna, what are we doing? Oh, there we go. It didn't, uh... The marker didn't actually appear until after I had walked past it. That's what's going on there. So I'm taking more damage than I would like. A little further. There we go. We got it. <laughs> Understood. Where is the excellent good boy? Target acquired. Target acquired. Good old J. Edgar units. Too far away from it. It's out of range. Right, we can actually destroy this. Fuck it. Do it. Come on. Normally I would be really anxious to get back on the move, but we were behind it. Yeah, 
right, we're gonna. Come on, we got this. Unfortunately, we don't have to do much damage to this thing. And that other tank is very far away. So we can just take our time. Destroy this. We do get extra... I think we get a bonus for destroying the weapons depot. So yeah, we're, we're definitely taking advantage of that. Normally a nice, easy, cheesy... Uh, way to ex get extra damage. On. Is to like walk over a lot of these structures. But it's a light mech. Yeah, I knew you were around there somewhere, buddy. Ah, Parker. Not that I think jumping really does all that much. Still out of range. Fuck. You're firing. It means I'm probably in range. Come on. Cycle. Ah. We're almost out. Home stretch. Maybe I shouldn't have stuck around to deal with that armory, but at this stage of the game, I will take every extra sea bill I can. Yeah, Fahad is way more... So, uh, that sucked. <laughs> my, uh, my entire PC shut down there for a second, and I'm not sure why it did that. So let's take a look. Let's see, uh, take a look at an error log here. Um, I've never had that happen. I mean, that was very, very abrupt. Everything looks okay. Well, welcome to another episode of, uh, that just happened. Well, anyway, so let's try this again. Let's go back into MechWarrior 5. Let's see if it'll at least bring us to the end screen. Um, if not, geez, man, that was super lame. Hopefully that was just a one-time fluke thing. And if it does that again, uh, that'll, that'll be the end of this. <laughs> Thank you.
Yeah, I've never had my PC just shut off like that. And that was, that was just very, very abrupt. All of a sudden we were there, and then silence. Now who knows, maybe I had a power interruption, but nothing else seemed to interrupt. So it's all right. I guess let's, uh, let's load. Yeah. The autosave, mission, wake up. Good. Well, it's got the right time, so let's go in there and see what happens here. And if this crashes again, then, well, we have our answer then, don't we? Yeah, there we go. This is actually the exact spot we left off. So, cool. Um, anyway. So anyway, that, uh, that takes care of that. Let's continue. Hopefully that never happens again. My goodness. Um... Sure. I always take a tiered weapon over anything else. We'll go with that. Good grief, man. All right. So my my avoiding enemy fire went up. That's good. But yeah, my my uh, my pilot still sucks a lot. Okay. So smash a grab. Uh, nice work, Commander. We will reco recover the materials we needed from that raider cache. And Fahad has already started the repairs to the leopard and the centurion. You've made him a very happy man, although I doubt he'll admit it. So while you're taking on the raiders, Spears contacted me. He has a plan in place to get us out of our current predicament. Head up to the bridge when we get a chance, and we'll fill you in. Cool. Let's do it. Speak to Odd. We gotta speak to this guy first. Why? Not sure. Hey, boss man. That was quite the haul you brought back. Gonna make the repairs a bit easier now. But don't go getting stars in your eyes or nothing. I'm overworked as it is, and this shit needs a lot of loving, eh? So your centurion is still going to take plenty of time to fix. Of course but it is. Like I said, nice job out there. Your old man will be proud. Now if there's nothing else going to get back at it, all right. A lot of work to do. Story of my life. <laughs> okay, now we speak to Rihanna. Yeah, every so often you do have to interact with your crew, although I like to interact with them anyway. But there are some times where you're just forced to. Good work with those raiders, Commander. While you were planet side, I got word from Spears about the plan he's put in place for us. Take a listen. Rihanna, Commander. Good news. I think I can get you safely past the blockade with the aid of a local mining company. To make everything work, I'm going to have to find you guys a recycled mercenary identification number. A new identity, essentially. Nick's Cavaliers, for all intents and purposes, no longer exists. I'll match that number to a new name of your choosing once the time comes. So think about what you want to call yourselves. While I arrange that, you're going to have to do a little work for the mining company in exchange for their cooperation. Of Things course. go well. They've agreed to hire you to transport some precious cargo out of the system aboard an inbound jump ship. Using the new mercenary ID and with a legitimate contract in hand, you should have no problem slipping through the blockade. I've attached the particulars to this message. I'll be in touch once you've completed the mission. Good luck. I already reviewed the information Spears sent. The mission is a straight up protect and defend op. Seems these raiders have been harassing the mining company, among others. Stealing from them, extorting them, killing innocent civilians when their demands weren't met. I've uploaded the pertinent details into the mission briefing, so I won't repeat them here. You're good to launch any time, Commander. Roger that. I'll see you on the other side. It is nice that they don't repeat themselves. So let's go through it. All right, so the mining company some settlement's vulnerable to raider attack, Commander, so we've got to protect it. I'll drop you in a safe distance. Once on the ground, head there and defend it. Should be a simple in and out mission, but no plan survives contact with the enemy. That is so fucking true. As the saving goes, so be prepared for whatever comes. Good luck. Oh, uh, before we do that, let's go into battle mechs and let's repair uh, the javelin. Fortunately, yeah, we don't really have that much in the way of repairs. Uh, although I did take a decent number of hits to the center torso, actually, but in the grand scheme of things, this is this is fairly light damage. So let's cue that. And one of the nice things is, unlike the Battletech game, this is all concurrent. So in seven days, my javelin will be repaired, and the Centurion will still only need 30 days, not like 37. It doesn't go sequentially; it goes in parallel, which is so so much better 
work wise so we could actually have multiple mechs under repair at the same time oh yeah anyway now we'll accept we'll go into the contracts Let's go in here should still only oh yeah i still have one we're gonna take the c bill payout because we need money we need money desperately mind the weather commander it'll compromise your visibility yep. And it'll even tell you, all right, mission starts in seven days because the javelin's being worked on. We will wait the seven days, but if we didn't want to wait seven days and I had another mech, I could substitute the javelin for a different mech and we can go from there. But yeah, we'll, we'll wait the seven days. It's nice that it gives you, it's nice that it gives you the choice. And I guess we'll find out if this, if this, uh, if we play this and it crashes again, then there's something wrong with the new, the new version of the game. Uh, or one of the mods I have installed. Um, if it happens again, I guess what I'll do is I'll, un I'll just uninstall all the mods. And hopefully we get some stability that way. Or it's just one of those things where, well, oh shit. <laughs> I know very little about these raiders' overall strength or sheer numbers. So keep a sharp lookout for enemy units on your approach to that settlement. Copy that. Man, this fucking ice ball. <laughs> I don't remember this music, but it could just be that I, it's been so long since I've played this game. Uh, but it's also possible that the devs have updated the OST. I can't get that fucking beats all from here. Ah, no. There's the settlement up ahead, Commander. Looks like the Raiders have already begun their attack. Get in there and protect those civilians. Still far on my way. Please help us. The Raiders are attacking our settlement. There are women and children here. Rihanna, something's interfering with my sensors. I think the Raiders have set up some sort of jamming device nearby. I'll see if I can locate it. Missed it. Target destroyed. Too far away from it. And you could do damage to your own settlement that you're trying to defend. And there we go. Got it. Target destroyed. Target acquired. What else is around here? There they are. Coming in that way. Come on. Come on, come within range, you piece of shit. Fuck. If I do this really carefully, I won't damage anything in here. I know that. Okay, we got a couple of tanks coming in this way. We'll deal with this one first. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Nice work. Okay. These civilians are safe for the moment. Unfortunately, Oof. it appears the raiders aren't done causing trouble just yet. I took a lot of damage to that leg. For the company's main processing facility on the other side of the mountain. You need to get there and thwart that attack, Commander. Understood. Double time it. And I need to not take any more damage to that right leg. Almost lost all the armor in that low. Although I guess it doesn't really matter, because. Yeah, even if I lose the armor, they still have to get through the structure to actually blow the leg off. And even then, they don't really blow the leg off. They just destroy the actuators to the point where... Uh, wait. I want to go this way. All right. Seraph's remembering this now.
Yeah, I love how what they like have sensor jammers. It really does fuck, and it really does screw with your sensors. Makes it hard to aim and shit. The jamming device the raider set up is at the top of this pass, Commander. You're going to have to manage as best you can until you're able to take it out. Doctor. that. Come on, tank. Show up so I can just blow you up. Got it. I really didn't feel like standing here while it just continued to shoot at me unopposed. Come on. Okay. Got it. With that jamming device eliminated, your sensors should have cleared up. Yep. And they did. Yeah, much better. Your okay. onboard radar should also be operational now. You'll be able to detect enemies at a significant distance. Just in time, too. That mining facility is getting hit hard, Commander. But I just took one hell of a shortcut to get down here. Yeah, I'm feeling There's the facility. Destroy those radar units. Roger. Oh. You made it. We need your help. The raiders are trying to destroy our facility. It's all we have. Ah. Target destroyed. Fucked it up a lot faster than I thought I would. Got Target it. Oh destroyed. man. There are so many enemies. All right, let's go in order, so I can keep a, so I can keep moving here. Jesus, man, look at these fucking assholes. That SRM carrier has to get taken out in a hurry. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Let's, uh... Target acquired. Not let that fire on you. <laughs> yeah, that SRM carrier would do so much damage to me if it uh, got within sight of me. That would hurt so much. Now, there was a tank over here. Wasn't there? Am I crazy? Maybe I'm crazy. I thought there was a tank over here. Guess not. All right, whatever. Sorry, guys. The mining facility can't take much more damage and still remain operational. I, I know. You need to eliminate the radar threat. Working on it. Yeah. Yes, I'm carrier. So if you're too high up, you'll also take damage from the fall, but you could use jump jets to mitigate that. Come on. Got it. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Yeah, let's deal with this the light tank. I think I'm out of range. Shit. Let's deal with this thing. I hate not having missiles, man. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do damage to the facility if I march through it. Because you can damage the facility just by walking through the structures. So you gotta be really careful how you walk through things. Fortunately, this asshole got a little stuck. Position, oh, come on. I don't have time for that. That ego is a piece of heavy machinery with tons of firepower. Yep, if it is. Checked, it will do a lot of damage to the settlement. Ah, shit. You prioritize taking it out over the smaller enemies. Oh, shit. Oh. Fuck, I missed it. Damn it. Oh, man. That was not the way to do that. Got it. 
And I sort of jumped just to try to give my be a moving target for it. But it still managed to light me up pretty good. Not great. Well, so far I'm doing this as a how not to do this. Back over here again. Man, that tank is in a shit position. Ah. Fuck. I'm having a really hard time targeting it, not targeting the facility, but I think I've got this. Sneak through here. We got it. Yeah, you're dead now. Good okay. Work, Commander. That be okay. Oh, cool. We're just done. Sweet. Okay. That wasn't too bad. Okay. And this time, uh, the computer didn't die. So that was nice. Oof. Okay, do we have any... Right. So there's no good tiered weapons. What the fuck is that? I guess this is one of the new DLC weapons. Rapid Fire Auto Cannon 5? Sure. I may as well take that. And yeah, I'll take an LRM-10. Why not? We'll go with that. Alright. And a couple of my skills went up. Excellent. Well, I took 31,000 damage, but that's ultimately not the end of the world. Okay. Outstanding job. Those raiders were intent on shutting down the entire mining operation. And that mobile jamming tower almost put a spanner in the works. <laughs> Luckily it didn't, thanks to you. There's a lot of people down there owe their lives. Uh, there's a lot of people down there that uh, owe you owe you their lives tonight, Commander. As to what happens now, Spears has been in touch. It seems we have one more mission to execute before the mining company will sign off on the transport contract. We need that contract as cover to get past the blockade. So we don't have much choice but to do as they ask. Come see me when you've cleaned up and I'll give you the full rundown. So let's do this. Let's talk to Rihanna. Uh, first things first. Let's... Yeah, let's go in here. Let's repair this. Not bad, though, all things considered. Six days. It's actually less time than the last time. No, could talk to Fahad again, but we're just going to go this way. Come on. Up you go. Up you go. There we go. Commander, it turns out the bastards who attacked us and who have set up the blockade are a mercenary outfit by the name of Black Inferno. Unfortunately, that's about all we know at the moment. Spears and I will try to dig up more information if we can. The time will come when we can extract some proper vengeance, but right now we have more pressing concerns. Inferno forces are closing in on our location. That means we only have a small window in which to fulfill our obligations to the mining company and haul ass out of here. <laughs> the company wants us to take down the Raiders for good by destroying their base of operations. Once that's done, they'll arrange passage for us aboard the inbound jump ship. I've detailed the mission briefing, and it's waiting for your sign-off. You're free to launch whenever you're ready, Commander. Roger that. All right. So we can go in here. We can view our transmissions. And even though they say that, uh, oh, the Centurion is ready, huh? Oh, that's fucking awesome, man. Awesome. Hey, boss man, from what Rihanna says, the next mission's going to be a bit of a doozy. Yes, it is. Good thing I've gotten the uh, Centurion fit as a fiddle and ready to go, eh? She's got plenty of firepower, especially compared to the Javelin. In case you wanted to upgrade, I thought you would uh, should know. Yeah, I do want to upgrade. You're welcome, by the way. Happy to be of service. Anything I could do to help us get off this bleeding ice cube, mate. You know what I mean? All right, that's it. Talk to you later. Yes, I will accept. Okay, so we could use the Centurion. That is awesome. We don't even need to wait for the Javelin to get repaired. So decades ago, this planet was the epicenter of a mining gold rush. Of course, it wasn't gold the miners were after, but rhodium. It was a boom, then bust for most of the companies, which means there were a lot of there's a lot of abandoned infrastructure that's left behind. One of these mining locations is where the raiders are currently holed up. You can expect a larger enemy presence than we saw at the power plant, Commander. You'll need to eliminate all of them and destroy as much infrastructure as possible. Our employers want these raiders out of business for good, so give them hell. All right, so we got to destroy this place. So, yes, we will indeed do that. We're going to take, we're just going to take south. Oh, uh, all right. Well, well do I want to do that or damage coverage? Hmm. Do I want salvage shares or the damage coverage in case I get really lit up? Um, so yeah, repairs up to 400,000 will just be covered by damage coverage. Hmm. 
You know, we'll go with the salvage shares, though. We will go with salvage shares in this particular case. I don't... I'm going to guess that I am not going to incur that much damage in this particular mission. We're going to go with the Centurion here. Let's go with ready. Let's ready this. Let's do this. Attention. Okay. Let's see if Seraph can do a better job here. Now, the Centurion is a much better mech than the Javelin. And now I've got LRMs to work with. These Let's... raiders were taking down on murderers and thieves, Commander. Don't show them any mercy. Mess with the bull, you get the horns. Ah, I missed it. But I still got it with the LRM exactly. with the medium lasers. I got enemy contacts up ahead, Commander. They must have detected us on the way in. Yeah, of course. Well, can't be helped. Let's go full throttle. Let's also take a... Eh, these weapon groups are good. I'm okay with these weapon groups. Fuck it. Let's do it. No guts, no glory. Where am I going? Okay. Well, looks like it's going to be a straight shot. I don't think there's any better way I can do this. So, yeah. Let's do it. Although, yeah, the terrain really... There's really only one way in. So we're kind of fucked up. Fine. Wow. That tank took a lot of damage. Damn. Oh God, that's... I gotta get used to how the AC-10 works. It's kind of a slow projectile. I just gotta get better at gauging distance. Not so much for that. Damn it. Oh, it turned. Oh, but I still got it. Alright, where's that Igor? I hear it. There it is. That's almost like the Terminator uh, VTOL, the Terminator airship. Those things that just hover. But yeah, those Igors, they can, they can really put on the punishment. All right, let's deal with this. Let's deal with this shit. Oh, shit. Damn. So far, I have really sucked with that. Damn it. Come on. Oh, still managed to get it with the medium lasers. Sweet. Got you. All right, we're doing all right here. Managed to fend off that little bit of a skirmish. Start with the damage here. Yeah, I'd really rather... Fuck. Oh, shit. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Maybe lose... Okay. Actually, they think they did lose their target lock. <laughs> that worked. All right, let's... Uh, let's kind of do a little bit of a pitched battle here. Where are they? Damn it. I can't believe I missed it from that range. Still have that other thing up here. Let's see. I'd rather deal with the threat. Tank over here that can really fuck us up. There it is. Shit. Two of them. Ah, fuck. Fucked up. Come on. There we 
go. I think I could walk through these and just destroy them this way. Yep, I can. Perfect. Let's do a little bit of expedited demo here. Just walk through these things. Good. Come on. Ah. Nice job, sir. Thankfully, I've got more than enough ammunition. I really don't have to worry about it. That was kind of a wasted shot, though. Okay. Walk through this. There we go. We got it. Let's get the hell out of here. We'll probably have more enemies. That's all right. So far, we're doing okay. Here we go. Ah, oh, damn. I am terrible with this uh, fucking cannon. Ah, oh, come on. Ugh. Can't locate this thing. Come on. Ah. Oh. Damn Centurion is kind of slow. They actually did a nice job of uh, using the terrain. Oh, they fucking dodged it. Damn it. Of course you're... There we go. That was actually a decent shot with the AC-10 there. But yeah, the uh, medium lasers, because they're on my torso, I can't aim them all that high. So I needed the weapon on the arm to actually point up to kill that thing. And unfortunately, they just showed up at, like, the worst possible time. How do I want to get up? Oh. Not bad of you. Fuck you in particular. Alright. Yeah, let's just make a beeline to that. Where is it? Hear it. I'm detecting an unknown battle mech. Fuck. Fast approaching your position. Very fast. Yeah. When you see it, get a sensor lock on the target. Yeah, thankfully I've got LRMs, so that'll help. Remember your combat training, Commander. Enemies will have a harder time hitting Shh. you if you keep your mech moving. I advise you to stay mobile and keep to longer ranges. Looks like these rangers still have got their hands on the spider mech. Damn it. It's gonna run over there, isn't it? Yes it is. Still managed to hit it a little bit. That was a nice shot. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Looks like I've got the hang of this again. Now, I don't know why Rihanna wouldn't show up until I dealt with the spider. The spider doesn't have any weapons that would threaten the dropship, but whatever. It's not really that big of a deal. Pushing over. Okay, then. Ooh. Yeah, I'll take that PPC for sure. Let's see, 180,000. Yeah, I'd rather have the 180,000 than 162. Um, but at this point, yeah, now I'm better off with that. Okay, I don't see anything else that's really all that particularly valuable. Although I may want the single heatsink, actually. 
kind of low on heat sinks. I feel like I could still buy those for the most part, though. Let's go with this. All right. I took 51,000 damage from that, but in the grand scheme of things, that's still not bad considering what we uh, what we had to deal with with that fight. Yeah, we'll claim that. We'll get an extra 50,000. Speak the fuck up. Why do I have to speak to you again? Hey there, Gov. Oh yeah, we finally got a name for these bastards. You this is great. Us down. Black bloody inferno, right? Well, that's a lot of bollocks, isn't it? You know what a black inferno is? It's bloody smoke, mate. All right then. Nice chat. Gonna get back to work now. So now we go back to Rihanna. And we'll deal with some logistics. Hi, Commander. Thanks to your efforts, the mining company have kept their word and booked us transport on a jump ship. Spears has also obtained a new mercenary ID number. <laughs> so, all we need to do now is choose a new name for our merc outfits, and we're good to go. I'll leave that up to you. Once you've registered the new name, come back and see me. Will do. All right, so now we go and do that. We could also do it from the tab, but we'll may as well just go over to operations and do it. So let's see, what name are we going to go with? Um, and our father's name was Nick, that hence Nick's Cavaliers. But um, what do we want to go with? You know, I was just thinking about this when uh, when he said something, and while I was playing the mission, I was in the back of my mind going, "I wonder, wonder what would be a good a good mercenary name." But I think we'll just go with something like we'll go with Black Sun. I think there is a yeah, there we go. I never, I, I, I think this will work. I think this will work. So I remember seeing this logo and being like, okay, I can work with this. Okay. So let's do that. Oh, and then we got to speak to that. Oh, and we also get news down here. So uh, the uh, Commando 1B unveiled by Coventry Metalworks. So that variant has now been released into the inner sphere. We have 39 days until our next payment is due. But, so, and it even tells us 75,000 is due in 39 days. That's not too bad. We can very easily afford that. We're good. We are super good in that sense. In that sense. Okay, Commander. Everything is set for our departure. The transport contract with the mining company is a false flag Spears and I set up with their cooperation. The mining company has legally hired us to transport cargo for them. But in reality, there is no cargo. Just a destination and some very convincing paperwork. So, where are we headed? We've been asked by Spears to help him out of a jam. I think we owe him. I agree. What's he need us to do? Spears works for Interstellar Expeditions, one of the largest archaeological collectives in the Inner Sphere. They do archaeological digs and conduct research into abandoned Star League era facilities in the pursuit of lost technology from before the Succession Wars. One of the expeditions digs some. Hey, Kara. <laughs> How you do, buddy? The group is intent on pillaging a Star League supply depot that IE uncovered on Brooklyn Prime. We're going in to help protect the site. Spears will provide more detailed information on what exactly we're facing once we arrive. For now, I've uploaded the coordinates into the nav system. Before we can launch, you need to sign off on the op and get us to the system. Roger that. See, we were just talking about this uh, yesterday, Kara. Uh, but yeah, I did decide to uh, to play some Mech Warrior Five here, um, and so I think we can now go. Oh, we still can't go into operations, uh, but I could always change the name of the uh, of the mercenary company in case I come up with something better than Black Sun, or in case anybody in chat comes up with something better. Um, but yeah, we've we've kind of come through. We're almost done with the introductory tutorial missions. Um, you get enough, uh, rest and fluids, my friend? So we gotta do... The situation is dire, Commander. The Merc outfit Spears hired to protect the dig site has taken heavy losses and can't hold out much longer. You need to get down to the surface and reinforce them before the last of their defenses crumble. Unfortunately, I have no idea what you're gonna drop into, so you may be coming in hot. Once on the ground, the objective is simple. Stave off the enemy attacks until additional reinforcements arrive. They're counting on you, Commander. Hold the line. 
accept before we actually accept that. Trying to basically sleep in a 20 minute. Yep. Exo Squad Black. Oh, man. That. That's badass. <laughs> that. So for anybody else uh, that that uh, that doesn't know, Exo Squad was one of the best, best, best cartoons of like the early 90s. That was such an amazing. Uh, that was such an amazing show. Um, so yeah, and Exosquad, instead of E-Frames, you're dealing with Battle Mechs. Yeah, Exosquad Black. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, so yeah, let's repair this. Fortunately, nothing too bad. It's only going to take us eight days to get this repaired. So yeah, let's do that. Let's go accept this mission. And uh, now the cool part is, while we travel to Brooklyn, the mech will be in the process of being repaired while we travel. And so we're, we're going to save some time there. We're gonna be in good shape here. We're gonna make some even, we're gonna be make even more sea bills, which is super awesome. And so, yeah, we've got uh, eight days where that refit's gonna be done, and then 13 days we're gonna arrive at our destination. So we're, we're good, we're good, let's travel. Boom. Pretty sure they were gonna try to make a movie it never worked out, of Exosquad or of, uh, of Battletech? Oh man, that would have been awesome. I never heard about that. Yeah, that would have fucking ruled. And so now you're seeing how the jump ships essentially jump from star system to star system. And then we just detach and head on to uh, to Brooklyn, I think. Is Brooklyn? Yes. <laughs> and now we got a complete last man standing. All right. And so we are ready to go here. This ends up being an interesting campaign. I actually really like the music in this particular... For this particular map. Same thing. Do I, you know what? In this case, we'll... We'll go with the damage coverage. Because <laughs> this, this mission can get a little gnarly. So I'll, uh, I'll take that over the salvage shares. We're going to be good here. We'll be ready. Mm. Attention. For and if at any point you get this game, Kara, you're more than welcome to join in when you're feeling better. <laughs> I've already uh, warned uh, Phoenix Nade that uh, that I've been playing this, so I think at some point I'll do some co-op. That'd be fun. Let's see what we've gotten ourselves into. I'm picking up one friendly just ahead of your current position. Now I have tried so many times to save this friendly. I I'm not sure it can be done. But I have heard from people online that it can be done and they've done it. I've just never successfully saved this fucking mech, but we're gonna try. Ah, you ventured off too far. Damn, it was so fast. Like we barely got here and it's gone. Got it. That one. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how you saved that blackjack. There is a shit ton of DLC. Uh, it. There's a lot. I'm not. It's not actually one of my. Um, one of my criticisms is they they do they just do a ridiculous amount of DLC. Fortunately for co-op, you don't need a lot of the DLC, I don't think. Let's see. Uh, come on. Let's see. I get it? Oh, I missed it. All right, fine. The cool part about ballistics... Oh, I got it. <laughs> you could shoot beyond maximum range if you uh, know the, the firing arcs. 
course, it seems like I don't, but, you know, we'll try anyway. Fortunately, I'm out of range of it, so I think we could just hang out over here. Okay, cool. All right, let's go see what else is going on over here. Damn, missed it. There's so much activity over here. Yeah, we're gonna lose. We're gonna lose sensor lock on that SRM carrier. Hey, Ghosty, what's going on, my friend? Yeah, I thought I'd still get it. I'm more concerned about the SRM carrier. Oh, damn it. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that was an awesome shot. <laughs> huh. There we go. Hell yeah, it is, Freeman. Nice shot, by the way, Freeman. Yeah, said you guys needed some reinforcements. That's an understatement. Ah, oh, thank you, Kara. Lance was wiped out. They came down on us like a ton of bricks, out of nowhere, wave after wave. Been holding them off as best I can, but I don't think I could have held out much longer. Well, we're here now, and we've got your back. I appreciate that. Very good, Kara. Feel better, dude. Thanks for stopping in. Feel free to stop in again if you wake back up again. Well, I'm still on. We still need to protect this site. Copy that. But they'll be coming back soon enough. Like I said, they attack in waves, and they haven't shown any signs of letting up. So we got to defend this dig site here. Those should help. Yeah, I set them up when they started digging. There's a turret generator close by, up on the hill. It cycled off after the third or fourth wave hit us. It's still off at the moment. You want to try cycling it back on? I'll watch your six. Hell yeah, we will. I think it's up this way. I think. Said Hostile contacts. Inbound. Nope. Yep. It's over there. Looks Shit. like a mix of airborne Oops. and enemy armor, Commander. What the fuck did I just... Okay. <laughs> okay, so apparently there's night vision in this. Ah, shit. Let's at least take out that one if I can. Good. Shoot that one down. While we make our way up to there to turn the turrets back on. Because if we get these turrets operational, our life will be uh, much easier. <laughs> come on, come on, Seraph, get up here. That's the only problem with this. Is it slow? Turrets are now online and active, Commander. Good. That was worth it. All right, that is helpful. Now then. Yeah, I'm gonna lose the target lock before we get over there. That's fine. Okay, fuck that SRM carrier. Yeah, I'm gonna lose sensor lock on it. Oh, I hit it. Maybe I can hit it in there. Fuck it. Ah. Got it, though. Okay. I didn't even see it, but I was able to kill it. Go. Same thing. Hit it. Okay. Where is it? Come on. Hostiles converging on your location, Commander. I'm picking up 10, 12 bogies this time. I told you, these guys never quit. Oh, they'll quit eventually. Okay, I gotta get over to that one. So I gotta pretty much go over this way, otherwise I'm going over a lot of extra terrain. The only problem with the Centurion is it's just so bloody slow. Yep, here they come. Oh, I just missed it. Stay on him. Damn. Don't think I think it. Okay, 
Okay, got that one. That was actually a really nice shot. You know what? We're gonna deal with these assholes first. And then I'll cycle back around. Deal with that. Oh, hell yeah. Get rid of that fucking thing. Come on. Where's that tank? Okay, got that. Alright. So far, so good. Bad. Managed to get it. <laughs> there you go, Freeman. Give him hell, bro. Alright. Now is a good time to power this on. You know what? I think that's what we're gonna do. Goodbye, SRM carrier. And then we're just gonna perch up on this uh, ledge here and we're gonna shoot at these fuckers. Yeah, we're gonna stay. Hang back here. Let's take these bastards down. Well, thankfully the sensor lock lasted long enough. Wonder why my sensor lock erased so fast. First. Thank you. Ah, I'm gonna lose it. No, I managed to take it down. Man, I have been horrendously off with my AC-10 long range. I swear, these Star League ruins bring nothing but trouble. And it's probably like a stapler factory or something ridiculous. <laughs> like seriously, it probably is. Where is that? I thought there was a repair bay somewhere. But I guess not. Where's the repair bay? Maybe it's over here, where that shows. Oh, yep, there's the repair bay. That's right, once I hit the... Yep, there's the repair bay. Let's go get them. That's For all is. we know, we're all just fighting over some random forgotten city glassed hundreds of years ago in the early succession wars. Yep. System offline. Okay, let's repair all that damage. There we go. That's the nice part. Man, there aren't enough missions that have those, but they are nice when they do. All right, we got a griffin. In the unlikely event that they do find a data core, I'll put Seabills down that it's either destroyed, corrupted, or heavily encrypted. Ah! Fucking TPC. There we go. If I could destroy that arm, it's over. Yeah, now what, buddy? You got no fucking... You got nothing. You got nothing. You're in short range. You can't hit me now. You're done. You're done. It's over. <laughs> That's one of the helpful things if you uh, have to deal with a, um, a griffin. Once you, uh, once you blow off its arm, it's over. <laughs> Piece of shit. Damn it. Oh, 
unfortunately it's shooting Freeman more than me. Oh, now it's got now it's gonna lock on me. <laughs> Let's go over this way. It could shoot that left arm mine. Got all at once. Alright, Freeman got it. Nice job, Freeman. Man, that was like that's the best I've ever seen the AI run. <laughs> Before you showed up, I lost some good friends today. Good pilots. I don't think I could have held out much longer myself. You hadn't dropped in. I appreciate it. I'm glad we were able to help. Just wish we'd gotten here sooner. Me too. You know, we could always use another pilot. One with your skills, he'd come in awful handy. What do you think? After today? Hell, it'd be an honor to serve with you, Commander. I don't think there's anything left of his other unit anyway. Welcome aboard. <laughs> Marvelous. Cool. And we got ourselves a Jenner. And a pilot. <laughs> so this worked... This, that was beautiful. Um, but yeah, we, we didn't have... Even if we had bought salvage shares, we wouldn't have been able to get that assassin. Although that's actually lower than I would normally have expected it to be. But let's see. I have two of these already. Is there anything else in here that I really need? I might want to take machine guns just because I don't have any of them, but at the same time, meh. Yeah, we'll go with this. We'll go with the LRM-10. We can always sell them. Perfect. Wow, we took... Yeah, thanks to that repair bay. And we waited. <laughs> I love how Leon, what Leon looks like after. But yeah, that was some fight, Commander. I also see you managed to pick us up a new pilot. Nice work. Having another pilot aboard will certainly help our cause. He's a bit worse for wear at the moment, but that's not surprising, especially considering what he's been through. Don't worry, though. I'll make sure he gets settled in. As for the dig site, it's been secured, and the newly re arrived reinforcements should ensure its continued protection. When you've had a chance to clean up, come see me on the bridge. We need to talk about the future. Yay, the future! <laughs> ah, yes. All right, so let's deal with our battle mech repairs for right now. Yeah, let's repair this mech. It's not that big a deal. We can afford it. Wow, we almost have four million sea bills. This is amazing. That is perfect. All right, so we're gonna return to the hangar. Let's cruise up and we'll talk to Rihanna here. Oh, you good girl. Whoops. I was looking at the cat instead of the game. <laughs> in my fair, in, in my defense, the cat is cute. Hold on one second. Hello, kitty kitty. What are you doing, kitty cat? Hi. Hello. <laughs> hi. What are you doing? Are you a good girl? Are you a good girl? Can you can't say hi. Yeah. <laughs> She's my good cat. What's up, kitty kitty? Just came here to say hi? Or do you do you want something? Do you want something? You want food? You just come to say hi. Hmm? Yeah, come to say hi? Although I could use a refill on my soda, actually. Man, I'm just sucking down soda like it's going out of style. Would you like would you like a soda cat? Or do you want food cat while I go get a soda? Okay, let's do that. Let me just pause real quick. I will be right back, folks. Give me two seconds. Okay.
All right, I am back. Give me two seconds. I'll actually start the back in game. So yeah, greetings, Ghosty. Now that I'm not in the middle of a uh, gigantic firefight, <laughs> how is your uh, America's birthday holiday break been? I've uh, I've been productive, as you can see. I finally installed uh, the shade that came in. It actually works really well. I came in this morning just to kind of take a look, closed it, and it was like, it was perfect. There's not even, there wasn't a single ray of sunshine that managed to bleed through that thing. So now uh, when I stream during the day, I don't have to worry about the uh, Fallout-esque lens flare coming from my window even when the blinds are closed. So it's nice. Also uh, took care of some other, you know, various home improvement stuff, bleached my patio. I pretty much have to bleach my patio like once a year, unfortunately. Um, otherwise, stuff just likes to grow. It's very unfortunate. Hi, Commander. Excellent work protecting that dig site. Spears thinks you did a hell of a job. I did. A chip off the old block were his exact words, referring to your father, of course. That's quite the compliment coming from him. As you know, your father and Spears did a lot of work together over the years. Proved quite lucrative, too, for both of them. Hopefully, we can continue that relationship. Let's hope so. But we need more than one client if we're going to survive out here. That's what I wanted to talk with you about. Our next move. We're operating with a clean slate now, thanks to the new mercenary ID number Spears provided. A whole new name, new outfit. Now we need to get to work rebuilding our capabilities and establishing our reputation. Won't be easy, but nothing worth doing ever is. You up for it? What do you think? I think we better get started then. Plenty of war zones in the inner sphere where we can pick up work. A few safe harbors as well. Places we can hire more pilots, get our hands on cheap supplies. First, we need to earn some sea bills to pay for it all. Other than that, I see a bright future ahead of us, Commander. Me too. Speaking of the future, we have a pending transmission from IE already. Seems Spears has put the word out to his colleagues that we can be trusted to get the job done. Before diving right in, I recommend we head to one of the industrial hubs in this region. Pockets of relative stability where we can acquire new equipment and mechs, hire new pilots. We have more mechs than mech warriors at the moment, so it would be good to expand the ranks. Repairs are cheaper in these regions too. Either way, I've marked the location of the IE contract on the star map. It's there whenever you're ready. Roger that. Thanks, Rihanna. You're welcome, Commander. Perfect. There we go. Oh, right, right. I forgot. Every new playthrough, all the achievements start over. So, uh, yeah, we finished that. Yeah, isn't that the best kind of drama, Ghosty, when it's not even, like, your business, but you're, like, caught in the middle of it? That's, like, the most fun thing ever. Uh, that's, that's, like, amazing. That's great. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, such is life. Such is life. No, I'm, I'm doing pretty good, man. Uh, I'm doing pretty good. Um, I don't know. Um, what am I doing? Oh, right. At this point, I think we can go in here and we can go into operations now. Ah, yes. Now we can actually access all these. So this is the cantina stuff. This is uh, one of the DLCs, I think. Yeah, it's going to go through all this. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't need that. But we uh, we can go into our pilot monster, and now we see our two pilots. I'm uh, looking for stats. So here we are. Here's our rank. We're rank three. Uh, this is one of the new DLCs we I picked up. Uh, I haven't done any of it yet, but um, the Solaris DLC looks interesting. So we're in the process of completing our mech database. So we've completed all of like two percent of it. It's that is hard to do. I've never actually completed a total uh, mech database. But so it goes. Here's our faction standings, objective logs. Okay, so where do I our achievements? So we can go through all of this again. But um, am I wrong? Can we not rename our? Can we not rename our uh, our company? Am I thinking of the HBS game where we can rename it? Can I actually not rename this? Are we are we locked into it now? Oh, that would be so lame if we're locked into that. Can we not rename this now? 
Holy shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oops. So right now we're at we're Brooklyn right now. Uh that's where all that all that bullshit came kind of came down at DeBerry. So we could go into this industrial hub and and uh <laughs> Yeah, I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> yeah, right? I don't even know what's going on between the two parties yet. They explain things to me like I do. Oh god. Uh so yeah, if we zoom out too much, we won't even see uh, the names here. Oh god, there's something new here. Arena contract. Oh, there's actually an arena contract, huh? Okay, so I guess we could just do those now. Um, I don't know how adventurous I feel like being with that, but um, sure. Okay, so one of the first things I like to do... There we go. We need to go to Valentina. And that will cost us 200,000 sea bills. And that is money well spent. And then I guess the question is, once we go to Valentina, it probably makes more sense to go to this industrial hub and then back into this conflict zone. But you'll see why we're going to go to Valentina in a second. We are going to... Oh, uh, first things first. Battle Max, we're repairing that. Okay, let's also... Let's save. Let's save. Yes. Uh, save? Sure. Okay. Oh, we didn't actually have any saves before. Okay. Well, now we do. Sweet. Okay. So how do I change the company? Single player mode. Can I not change the company? Can I literally not? Am I locked into it? Am I literally locked into it? I thought I could change it after the fact. Can I not? Was I wrong? What's this? Codex. Okay. Well, that's, that's actually helpful. I might, I might be, I might be out of luck here. Uh, <laughs> maybe I can't. I thought I could rename it, but maybe not. So here's our equipment. This is stuff. Oh, we could theoretically buy this. Uh, we could actually. Oh wow, we could buy uh, melee weapons now. I don't think I'm going to do that, but we could. Oh god, there's a new version of a PPC. What's the PPCX? Uh, with an ion separator fires eight high energy ion. Oh god, it's the. Uh, it's the scattershot P PPC. <laughs> oh, man. Creates multiple brief disruption fields within 90. Yeah, so that's interesting. Wow. That is going to be interesting. I have no idea what that's going to look like. Oof. All right. Yeah, I guess I can't. Uh, I guess I'm locked into this. Okay. Well, I wish I'd put more thought into it then. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, let's see, view the... Okay, so co-op unlocked, right? So we could do this now if we wanted to. Uh, let's see, we've got something new. Old friend. Hey, kid, heard about the old man, but tough break. One of the good ones. Anyways, want to reach out and chat. Da -da 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 -da. Thing is, places don't let... Oh, he's letting us know that we have cantina opera emissions. So uh, be sure to open these doors back up for you. It's the least I could do for old Nick. I'll be rooting for you, kid. Best of luck. Yep. Okay, so this allows us to do cantina missions. And then uh, armed robbery. The local systems are in shambles. Many mercenary outfits are packing up and running, while others are looking to ransack vacant, uh, vacant merc bases. Only a few battle mechs to your name. It seems you'll be in need of some more hardware and supplies if you want to stay in this game. My clients need supplies too, and if you get your, can get your hands on some, I'll give you a healthy cut of the resale value. That should help you get back on your feet after, well, after everything you've gone through around here. If your game, I've got intel on a system where an independent company from Harlock's Warriors is trying to get out of the system for good. If you're not afraid to shoot other mechs, you should be able to chase them off and acquire some of their supplies. The surefire way to chase them off with minimal fuss is to shoot down the mech of Anders Woman, their head of security. And then the rest of the outfit should scatter. Yeah, that's usually how it goes. Woman's not well liked, to say the least, so you'd essentially be doing the warriors a favor. And with the occupants on their way out anyway, they shouldn't put up that much of a fight to protect someone they'd rather be rid of. After chasing off the warriors, I'll send in my crews and pay you for anything that's on my list of necessaries. Anything else you'll find will be yours for the taking. Cool. So we will accept that. We don't need to do that, but we will accept it. Okay. Okay. Let's save. Yeah, we'll save over that. That's how that works. Alright, star map. Travel. Let's do this. So we've discovered, looks like we discovered a new conflict zone.
Yeah, I didn't realize we couldn't rename our mercenary outfit. Shit. <laughs> well, at least it isn't completely suck. I'm glad I didn't do something like silly or stupid. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> For, okay, so we got... Ah, here we go. Yep, hidden cash found. These documents you uncovered appear to be uh, more than just historical records. They were encoded transmissions. Nemo me impune lasisit. No one provokes me with impunity. Growing up among the clans of the Northwind Highlanders, my father taught me that those words hold a special meaning among them. Uh, they were the words of the Star League Defense Force's Royal Black Watch Regiment. A unit that originated among the Highlanders and became the personal bodyguards of the First Lord of the Star League, before the collapse of the League turned what remained of us into mercenaries. While the Inner Sphere believes that they died off in the Amari coup that preceded the collapse of the League, my father believed that some survived and began to stage guerrilla actions while hiding their advanced equipment. And it's true. <laughs> Among some of the Highlanders, uh, Nemo Me Impune Lassisit is used to indicate coded messages when we believe the other that others are watching. I gave those documents a closer look and discovered hidden transmission codes. I broadcast those codes shortly after we left the system's jump point and amazingly received a ping back from a long range beacon, originating from an asteroid field within the system. The beacon led us to an SLDF marked battle mech, orbital drop cocoon, masked by the small or rich asteroid it had been attached to. Without the beacon, no one would have ever known it was here. Readings indicate that uh, there may still be a mech in the cocoon. Let's give Fahab prep for recovery and see what we got down there. And yes, we do. And it's a nice little free Wolverine. Boom. We just claimed ourselves a hero mech just by going to this system. It was worth it. Beyond worth it. So now we just need to go to an industrial hub and hire ourselves a, um, let's see. So that would be 34 days, 200,000. Wow. So it's like six and a half dozen the other. We may as well go back to Haynesville then and see what we got here because then that travel will be shorter. So yeah, let's do that. We'll go back and then we'll pick up whatever pieces of this shit we'll need. So yeah, worth it. So especially early game to get a free medium mech that's pretty decent, huge plus. And just like that, we now have four mechs. So we're grabbing. There's no recent headlines. Perfect. We'll even do that. Yeah, that works. Cool. Okay. So we're a nice little, almost a medium, medium light man lance. Yeah, this this mech is cool. I don't think there's anything else to really do with it, but it's got an Ultra Auto Cannon 5, Artemis equipped SRM 6. This is a really, really nice mech. And just to get it to, for free, just be, nice by going there. Yeah, when I discovered that, <laughs> every playthrough now I remember to go up there and of course I remember Valentina because of uh, um, oh god cyberpunk um, Jackie's a member of the Valentino so as soon as I see it I'm like oh right that was my mnemonic device to remember and so yeah anyway so we got this let's uh, let's go to the um, barracks yeah two pilots so we actually need to hire two pilots here, if we can. And I generally like hiring pilots that have a higher total skill level rather than the points that they've got. Although at this point, my pickings are a little thin. So I may... Let's do this, Commander. Drinks are on me when we get back. Yeah. I've seen it all. Now, I want to get paid for it. Brad and ready, Commander. You put something in my sights, I'm taking it down. Hmm. Well, pickings are a little slim. Let's do this, Commander. Drinks are on me when we get back. All right, so let's hire Thanks this. For the trust in me, Commander. Let's go see what kind of trouble we can get into. Ah. Uh, yeah, they all kind of suck. <laughs> but you would probably be okay in the Centurion after a while. Uh, at this point, if it's six and a half dozen, the other. Now, I want to get paid for it. Yeah, and your hiring cost is actually lower than the other ones. So yeah, let's go with this. Okay, we'll go with you Either for now, and we'll just keep an eye out for better pilots as we uh, as we advance through this shit. Okay, I don't think there's anything we really want to uh, really mess with here. Our money is still a little on the shy side. 
What the fuck is a B laser? Binary laser? Long range, high damage, produces massive heat. What the hell? Oh my god. Yeah, large laser does 10. And so, uh... Jesus. Okay, so I guess it's two lasers in one. Interesting, I suppose, if you've got limited hard points. But, wow. Um... Wow. So yeah, that, that must be a Solaris weapon that came with the Solaris DLC. Interesting. I don't think that's particularly good, but it's it's interesting. I don't know if I would make that choice, but... Uh, let's see. Do I want to buy the superchargers while I can? Because sometimes you get cantina missions where they want you to pick up superchargers, or superchargers and cash them in. So I might even want to pick up these superchargers, even though I don't ever intend to use them. But for the price of two hundred thousand, no, let's not let's not mess around. Let's let's just take a look at the star map. I don't think there's anything of particular interest here. What the fuck is that? Arena contract? Wait, I can do contracts in the system? In an industrial hub? In oh, okay. I guess we can. Uh, all right. Wow, that's interesting. Uh. Okay, so difficulty and free-for-all, huh? Okay, Solaris Arms. Interesting. Ooh, um, I don't know if how I feel about this. <laughs> um, some melee weapon, weapon manufacturers want to give the audience a show. Bring whatever like, weight class of mech you wanted into the arena for a free-for-all match sponsored by Vanguard Industries. Yeah, I don't know. Um... Bring a lance with four medium mechs to duel their competitors' lance in the arena. How adventurous is Seraph with this new Solaris Arena DLC? I don't know if I am that uh, that adventurous, but it's just a. It's probably just going to be a one-on-one -on -one match, and I'll be here. I don't know. Maybe I should just earn a little extra coin and just give it a shot. Uh. Okay. Why not? Let's do it. Let's do this one. I'm curious. Here's to see how this will go. Starfall Corporation. Huh? Interesting. Yeah, I can make a million sea bills on this. That's worth it. That is super worth it. Assuming I could do this and not take a lot of damage. But we're already in an industrial hub, so any damage I take... You know what? Now nah, we'll go with this and we'll see. So instead of the Centurion, we're going to bring in that cool Wolverine we just got. Pound per pound. This thing's going to be pretty decent. And we saved it. So in case this really goes sideways, uh, I could just be like, eh, welcome to another episode. That didn't happen. <laughs> The match is underway. Our combatants are free to unleash hell. Oh my god, what the fuck is this shit? New target, Javelin. Expecting him to walk around that way. Jesus, Seraph. There we go, got him. <sighs> okay. So that's apparently how this is gonna go. Wow, we gotta destroy 11 of these fucking things? Yeah, I'm not doing any melee damage. Fuck that shit. Wow, this uh this looks this this looks really dicey. He lost a weapon. He needs to rally before things go from bad to worse. Oh, I could I just need to be the last one standing. Wave goodbye to that arm. You know what? I'm going to be strategic here. This could be a big moment here. I'm going to be a little strategic. I know this is a little boring, but uh fuck that shit. 
Huh. Yeah, these guys are just fucking each other up left and right. I'm just gonna hang out over here and let them fucking wreak havoc. <laughs> I'm liking the play-by-play, uh, -play, dude. But you know what? This is why it paid off to do my... Uh, to win my duel really early on. New target, spider. You know, I could probably hit it from here. Okay. So my... Uh, Effective strike. Mason knocks another mech out of the fight. Okay, so one thing I am going to do here... Okay, now that we can configure this... That is better. Yes, that works. Um, you know what? We'll do that. Okay. Okay. Now I'm now set to a weapons group that I can actually work with. I'm just going to monitor you for a minute. Target applied. <laughs> Yeah, that griffin is going to win against a spider, for sure. What are you guys doing? Plus, I can see how they actually fight. This is like a kind of a learning opportunity for me. Direct hit. Their offensive weapons just took a hit. A forced amputation. <laughs> I did hit it. I mean, it was right there. Why not, right? Yeah, what's the problem with that? You're done. You're done, dude. This is why I should have waited. We got five. That actually worked out pretty well. Even though it was stupid of me to kind of snipe at him because they both then teamed up on me, so that kind of sucked. All right, let's go see what else is going on. And this time I'm not going to be stupid enough to engage if I don't have to. Wow, you guys aren't taking any damage? It means you guys aren't fighting at all. Jeez, man. Okay, good. They are fighting. These two at least are fighting. Let me go over here and at least observe what's going on over here. Wow, so these get a little crazy. These get very crazy. Hang out over here. Oh, a fucking hunchback. Oh, that's not good. That is not good. I think I'm just gonna hang out here. Just sort of observe. New target crack. That could be that could that mech can fuck you up if you let it. I'm just gonna watch them fight for a minute. This time I'm going to actually be patient and smart. I'm not going to try to snipe them at a distance because now I know like, I will pull aggro. I don't need that kind of grief. That's a griffin that doesn't have its PPC anymore. Strikes down another opponent. He's acquitting himself well out there. Um... <laughs> yeah, I didn't destroy that. I'm just watching. I guess they're expecting me to just kind of wreak havoc. But yeah, if they're going to fight each other, I'm going to let them do it. That hunchback is going to be a problem. 
I am extremely concerned about that hunchback. And by extremely, I mean very, 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 very. If that hunchback is what I think it is, it's got an AC-20 on it, and that could really fuck you up. Oh, that locust is not gonna last very long. His firepower just took a hit. Eh, yeah, just lost a machine gun. That's really not that big a deal. I'm liking the uh, soundtrack, though. Let's just hang it over here for a minute. Definitely takes the AI a long time to kill itself. The AI is just not very good in this game. <laughs> And I learned the hard way not to take pot shots. They are definitely going to go after me. The less damage I take, the fucking better. Because if I lose this auto cannon or the SRM, I can't replace it. That is that is a, obviously a huge problem. Yeah, I don't, I'm not getting that close. Forget that. Yeah, that Phoenix Hawk is just hanging out over there. But at least it's taken some damage. Now, I could go over and fuck up the... Just lost a metal appendage in Good. Fashion. So we got another six down. But I see it firing. I could go... Okay. Good. Come on, Locust. Hurry up and die. We got a couple other. We got the Griffin that doesn't have its PPC anymore. And that Crab that's taking some severe damage. We could just go up there and try to finish them both off. What's the map look like? Yeah, it's really the best way up. And I think that Hunchback is hiding out in the northwest part of the map. So let's be a little smart about this. Although I think they're done shooting at each other. There we go. Alright. Now might be a good time to swoop in. This locust is about to shoot. There it is. And then we probably have this crab over here. Oh, even better. All right, so we got two more mechs here. We got the Hunchback, which is the biggest problem. What I'm gonna try and do is uh, target that Hunchback at long range and just back up and try to just pummel it at extreme range if I can. I don't even see the fucking thing though. That's a problem. There it is. Yep, oh, it's got an AC-10. Good news is, it can't hit me at this range. Of course, it's taking a while, but I've got the ammo. It's gonna take a while. But that Hunchback, again, with that AC-20, oof. Fortunately, the AI is really dumb, and it's just going to sit over there. That works for me. You just stay over there, buddy. Yep. Stay there. And at any point, if that AC-10 goes... Although it doesn't have an AC-20, so I actually don't have to fear it as much as I thought, but... But shit, if this is gonna work, fuck it. Cheese. Let's go maximum Velveeta here. Work smarter, not harder. I mean, if I didn't have to pay for repairs, fuck it. Man, we've almost chewed through its armor.
I love the AC-5. Oh my god, is this weapon awesome. Of course, at this range, we're just kind of shotgunning it. Let's see if I can do a little better of a cluster of damage here. as my ammo starts to run lower. Ah. Uh, yep. Definitely out of range of the SRMs. Oh, critical hit. <laughs> All right. I think we've softened up this mech enough. So we just got one more. Let's do this. And I think it was over that way. Phoenix Hawk, huh? Well, maybe we'll try and do the same thing. Uh, you're all the way over there, huh? All right. So let's try to maneuver over here. Maybe we could try to the same type of thing. At this point, I can't imagine this Phoenix Hawk is going to be much of a threat. But at the same time... All it takes is for that Phoenix Hawk to damage a component, and this will not be worth it. Because, <laughs> again, for reasons that I've already specified, losing a component that's irreplaceable would make this totally not worth it. This way. Man, the environment is fucking amazing. It's too bad. It's too bad that Phoenix Hawk didn't just come down and actually really interact. But I can't blame the Phoenix Hawk for doing the same thing I did of like fight and then just wait. <laughs> yeah, we'll go around this way. We should be able to now see it from here. And maybe we can do a similar thing. Nah, it looks like we're not going to have the elevation to see it. And unfortunately, it looks virtually untouched. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Yeah, it's moving. So yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to close in on it. I think I did hit it. have to make every shot kind of count here. Now I'm really low on ammo. Damn it! God damn it! What I just said. But it doesn't fucking matter. We lost the AC5. That was not worth it. I mean, neat, we could have won a million sea bills, but yeah, I mean, it, it, it fucking thwarted us. That was, uh, that was totally pointless. Yeah, not, it doesn't matter. We're, we're not taking any of this because it, uh, it fucked us. Whatever. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Load. Load. Brooklyn. That's all. So, 20 minutes, not ultimately not the end of the world. I wanted to see how it would go. Um, it was working well until we lost the Ultra Auto Cannon. But yeah, we can't we can't lose that. <laughs> so it's, it's not how it, it's just it's just not going to work. Uh, but anyway, it was neat to see. I did want to at least see what it was like. So we kind of knew going in that I might do that. Um, all right. So if I ever did that again, I would go in with the Centurion with. Uh, that's what I probably should have done is just gone in with the Centurion. So if we had lost valuable components, but like, yeah, whatever. Um, kind of cheesy that that last one didn't actually come down and go into the fight, but not the end of the world. All right. So anyway, we've got our, uh, we've got our barracks. We did all of this. We've got all that. We are ready to go. Let's cruise over to Pagola to do our actual mission. Come on. Keep forgetting how this works. So yeah, we'll do this and let's travel. Yeah, in hindsight, I suppose I could have aimed, uh, try to torso twist away from it, make it a little less likely. But yeah, that large laser just, you know, destroyed the weapon. It didn't even destroy the arm, I don't think. It just destroyed the weapon. It was just, that was just kind of like shitty luck. Because I don't even think I had structural damage going into the Phoenix Hawk either. Just, ah, oh well. Oh well. So we got a difficulty seven. Uh, I probably was also not well enough equipped because I think that was like a difficulty 20 arena. We actually did pretty well, all things considered. But yeah, no, no, it's just not not meant to be. All right, so we'll do this, but we'll keep those. Now that I have an idea of what the arena is like, we'll keep that in mind and maybe we'll find a better arena mech to actually do those later. Now that I know what is uh, involved. If I didn't have the option of the load, I wouldn't have even attempted it at this at this stage. So it was still fun to do. All right, so we got that. Uh, I think, yeah, we'll do damage coverage because I... Uh, yeah, we'll do damage coverage because God only knows what these guys are going to end up with. Oh, you know what? I think there's an option. I think it's an options. Uh, enable throttle decay. Yes. So I don't have to worry about that as much anymore. Oh, there actually is a difficulty setting. Yeah, we'll keep we'll keep that on normal. Don't need to worry about that. Aim assist is off. That's what I want. View mode cockpit. Okay, yeah. Cool. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Now let's go into the contracts. Yes. Yes. Yeah, what the hell. We'll try this. And hopefully we don't take as much damage. Right, so we're going to go with the Wolverine here. We'll go with the Centurion. Freeman, you're going in that Centurion. Jenner will have Albert and you first over here in the Javelin. Perfect. All right. And we are good to go. Although I should go into the paint schemes and actually paint my mechs. I should have done that last time. Yeah. Oh, well. It's fine. Woohoo! Okay. So let's do this. Let's do this! This will be easier, hopefully, with a team here. Okay, Commander. The only thing standing between us and this company's supplies is their leader, Anders Willman. Take him out, and we'll be able to get our salvage crew's planet side. Wilman's forces have mostly fled the area, but you should still expect some resistance. Alright, we'll also go into weapon groups. So that needs to be there. Perfect. Done. Yeah, we'll go this route. Yeah, all things considered, we did pretty well on that arena thing until the very, very end. I shouldn't have charged it. I should have just kept backing away from it. Targeted oh, nice. asset. Move up to it, and we'll begin the recovery procedure. Ooh, that works. That's close enough. Ready to start pickup operation. Brilliant. Payload acquired.
fired. Yeah, it's actually why I kind of deal with the. Target acquired. I know that tank's over there. We got another one out here. Keep an eye. Stay alert, everyone. Got another one. Good. Nice job, Freeman. Let's actually go to some high ground here and we'll scout out the area. here. What do we got? Okay, and kill the target, huh? Shot at it. There we go. You guys go after it. Perfect. You guys go after that target. I will deal with the urban mech. That was perfect. Okay. Now one of the cool parts is once the leopard comes down, the leopard will shoot at shit that's close by, which is super amazing. Wow, we made fucking mince me to that. <laughs> Good, we got heat sinks. We needed that. Cool, and a million. Yeah, that was uh, that was way better. That was uh, that was way better. We'll go with that. We'll go with that. Um, yeah, we may as well go with the stupid with the small laser. Okay. Okay, team. How did you guys do? Uh, you each took out a mech. Good. Dealt decent damage. Good. 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 All right. That's excellent. Oh, and we picked up a mech. Sweet. So if we didn't already have a fourth mech, we do now. Awesome. Okay, so the question is, do I keep that locust? You know what? I'm going to keep that locust just in case these things get damaged. So, we just lost a little bit of armor. We could stay in the conflict zone. Let's see. What do we want to do? So at this point, now we need to just kind of work our way up. Once we get to level uh, Reputation 4, we'll get some of these... Um, we'll get Cantina missions. That'll be sweet. Let's see, we could do another assassination mission. We've got an objective raid contract. Got a couple of those, actually. I almost wonder if we should just do the uh, objective raids and just stay in system and do these repairs. All right, so if I do these... Let's see, six days. All right, you know what? Because, yeah, if we do if we do that, yeah, we may as well just stay here a week, repair, and then we'll do another one of these missions. Let's do it. Pillage. Outworlds Alliance, huh? Yeah, I don't think there's any reason why we have to worry about the Outworlds Alliance. Not all. Find and retrieve all the designated supply crates. Okay, yeah, let's... Um Potential payout. Well, yeah, let's do the one that's actually gonna pay us money. <laughs> uh, house curate. Ooh, yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to 
build a shit ton of negative rep with House Curita yet. So yeah, let's do this. And I might even want to go near the border and do a couple of missions for House Curita because I don't want to be... Man, we're already... House Curita is already suspicious of us? How are they already suspicious of us? I feel like we didn't even do anything to merit being suspicious. But yeah, we'll do we'll do this one really fast. And sure, we'll do salvage shares. We really shouldn't be engaging in anything so dangerous that would merit that anyway. So yeah, we can make we can make a total of a million about a million sea bills. Yeah, let's do that. We'll wait a week. We'll do that. Let's do this really quick. Yes, let's wait. Perfect. Plus, we'll build up our pilot's skill, We've and especially when they're easy. For supplies. Some of the supplies are hidden, and you'll have to search the targeted area to find them. All right. We can do this. Let's do that. Walk on up to the treasure to pick it up. Interesting. I don't remember this mission type at all. Excellent find, Commander. Oh, well, that was awesome. Now. We just got a large chemical laser. Sweet. Okay, well, this is awesome. And an SRM4 stream. Fuck. I don't even know what the hell's firing over there. That's uh, pretty crazy. Here's over here. You guys gonna do similar shit? That'd be nice if you want to give us more stuff. We're just starting this campaign. We need we need all the supplies we can get. No, not gonna give us any more shit over here. Well, that's unfortunate. What the hell is going on over here? Whoa! Those are big fucking cannons. Scout out. Okay, you're not hiding behind that. Yeah, you still managed to nick my leg, you little bastard. I got it. Break through this wall? Oh, I guess we can't break through that wall. Okay, yeah, I guess we can't break through the wall. Shit. Okay, no, we, we can. I just didn't keep shooting at it long enough. Oh, I could have also gone through the gate. <laughs> nice job, Seraph. That's uh, obviously an effect we need. What's gonna try to shoot at us when we go do this? Just walk up to it in order to pick it up. That works for me. Okay. Commander to all units. Unidentified battle mechs on the field. Take them out. Let's get some speed up. I think we already got the one that was here. Let's just maneuver over this way. We'll go out the same way we came. I'd rather have a lot of sight lines. Although my poor lance mates are getting completely lost inside that base. Granted, I could have just jumped over the walls. Alright. The more turrets show up out of here. That looks like a turret's gonna show up. Maybe not. Cool. That works for me. Go this way. I might be expecting more difficulty than I was... Uh, I may have been braced for more resistance than I... than is warranted. Oh, some looks awesome up there. Usually turrets will pop up out of the ground in those places, although I'm not seeing that here. That's nice. I think we walked through that area first. 
think. Didn't we? Well, we'll go through this one. I think I did go... No, I didn't go through that one. But we'll go through this one. Just in case there's cool shit. I don't think there is. We'll take a slight detour. There is. My poor lance mates are like, what the fuck is Seraph doing? <laughs> poor guys are so lost. And they've got fast mechs. They really should be able to catch up to me. Yep. Target acquired. Oh, shit. What's over here shooting at? I didn't manage to hit it with some of those missiles. Good. That fucking tank is, uh... Is able to take a punishment, man. Oof. Okay. That's a fucking mech. Damn it! Target destroyed! Target destroyed. Okay. You guys shoot that thing. Good. I'm gonna totally use this wall to my advantage. Oh, you actually ejecting? Yeah, it ejected. <laughs> That's awesome. I've never seen it do that. I guess they finally, uh... I guess they finally updated that in a patch where if it loses all of its weapons, it'll just eject. That's sweet. That's what they should do. You know what? I might be thinking of the uh, HBS Battletech game, actually. These guys actually... No, you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, I have seen that before in this game. I was thinking the other game. Where they just fight suicidally if they don't have any weapons. Nearly there, Commander. Approach the hidden object to pick it up. I don't think this is our... Yeah, this is, oh, yep, this is ours. What we wanted. Let's get the hell out of here. All objectives destroyed. We are inbound on marked evac point. Get here as quickly as you can, Commander. I'm coming. All right, so this was a successful mission. Shit. I could use more milk runs. I don't think, <laughs> I don't think we could look forward to a lot of milk runs. Yep, here they come. You know, I was expecting the leopard to shoot at that more than it is. All right, dealt with those reinforcements. Yeah, I remember the leopard lighting shit up. Why is the leopard not shooting things? Hmm, not thrilled about that. I wonder if they finally realized the uh, leopard shooting shit was a uh, problem. Oh, we were just one shy. With picking up that, you know what though? Maybe they uh, changed the salvage rights because I don't remember being even remotely able to pick up mechs before. So this is good. This is actually good. I will take that since I don't own any of them. Uh, I actually will pick up the SRM too. We'll go with that. Uh, and sure, just because it's valuable. We'll go with that. All right. You did okay last time. All right. So you guys are doing all right. At the moment, you guys are doing all right. That's good. That's good. And total kills, okay. I mean, that's that's pretty decent. 
there really wasn't a whole lot to do there. Okay, so we paid our bills, uh, and we're still at four and a half million C bills. We are doing pretty good. Let's save, because we are doing pretty good. Uh, let's do a new save. Okay, let's resume. Let's see, what else do we what else are we doing here? Star map. Uh, at this point, we're kind of in the slow but slow and steady part of the game, where we're just building up our mercenary company. We're building up our strength. Slow and steady wins the race. Uh, it's okay to do just a bunch of small missions early. Uh, I do kind of want to do... We already went up here, so we discovered this area. Hmm. I almost wonder if it does make more sense. Let's see, do we want to do a battlefield contract or Yeah, we could go over here. We could just see what's we could just see what's up. We got a raid contract, scorched earth contract, targeted kill. Well, we could do the targeted kill or the demolition or both. Objective raid. Actually, that objective raid was pretty fun. I kind of liked that. Got us to do a war zone contract. Depending on who's doing what. The only issue with war zone contracts is there tends to be a lot of artillery. And I'm not a big fan of artillery in this game at all. Oh, right. We got a black market. Although I don't think I have enough money where the black market will even be worth it. But I think we're going to go here because it gets us closer to this industrial hub. Because at this stage of the game, we're going to want to start heading west. That's what we're generally, we're generally going to want to track west. We're almost done with our first year of the game. <laughs> uh, we're our first in-game year. Because uh, we started in 3015. We're about to get it. We're about to hit 3016. Neat. Um, I'm thinking, yeah, let's go to Bremond and let's see what these missions are. So I don't want to take that mission against the Kuritas if I can help it. And you know what? If we see another arena battle that's like similarly uh, difficult, similar difficulty, I'll, I'll go with the Centurion this time. That way I don't have to worry about, oh my god, that thing's irreplaceable. I have to like save scum. <laughs> I could just, we could just go in and we could just do it. Okay. So we've got, oh, we could take a job for the Outwards Alliance and work on our rep there. We can do this one and take another mission against the Outworlds Alliance. Do political operative. Go against independence. I generally don't like going against the independence because Spears is technically part of the independence. But this would help us balance our our faction rep a little bit. Because I, I, I don't I don't want to be too against the Outworlds Alliance. I generally don't want to be too against anybody in general. Um, I mean, we could just do a bunch of these. We really could do a bunch of these. I think difficulty, I think we'd be able to handle this just fine. Uh, this is a 10 day mission. It pays okay. That's the one that pays the best. Yeah, you know what, why don't we do why don't we do the demolition one and then we'll take actually yeah we'll take this one first and then we'll do the Davian and then we'll do the Davian one we'll do the demolition mission first and then we'll do the raid yeah I like this plan this will build up a rep again we're trying to build up rep but we're also trying to uh, build up our pilot skills I didn't repair anything before I left. God damn it, I forgot to do that. We traveled. That was such a waste. That's my fault. Thankfully, it's not going to be too bad. Hopefully, I will not make that mistake again. I know why I didn't do that, because I didn't know if we were going straight to an industrial hub or not. It's not the end of the world. You just waste two days. That's fine. Yes, wait two days for mission start. That is all right. My fault. Should have done that before we left. Thankfully, two days is not a big deal.
reactor online. And so part of also what Seraph is trying to do is build up enough sea bills so that once we get to an industrial hub, I can afford to um destruction of an industrial center marked at nav point alpha. Be sure to watch your fire around any pipes or tanks, as the contents have the potential of being explosive. We're actually gonna approach it from this direction. So we could go east directly, but the problem with that is if we go that direction, we're gonna have very little sight line to the actual base. So what I'm gonna do, even though this is gonna take a little bit, is wander south, and then we're gonna go around all that elevated terrain, and we're gonna approach from the south so we can get a really good sight of the area that we're approaching. Unfortunately, Rihanna uh, landed us in kind of a shitty location. I mean, I could go up into the middle. Oh. And this industrial area is like a total shithole. There was a tank over here. I missed it. I know it's over here unless one of my lance mates got it. I think behind us. How did it get behind us? Take care of that bastard. How did it even get behind us? I mean, I drove, I walked right past it. That was weird. Oh, that is awesome. Yeah, this, this I think, is a new biome. That looks awesome. Right. Here we go. Much better. We've got this. One of my pilots is a little lost. I can always switch to it and unstick it if it gets too uh, too confused, but here we go. Start. Target acquired. Still can't get a good view of it. I thought if I got elevation, I'd have line of sight to it. I'm going to wait for my lance to catch up. And here it comes. Okay, so we got a laser turret. Oh, good. You guys are shooting at it. Perfect. Can I walk on this? Yeah. You may have destroyed the tur- uh... Shit. <laughs> there it is. Show up over there, asshole. There's your target objective, Commander. Why don't you go over and introduce yourself? Turret. Oh, that's an urban mech. Let's fight that over here on our terms. It's over here. Self, good job. <laughs> uh, there's a tank over here. Let's deal with the tank first. I don't want to be flanked by it. Bastard. Okay, fine. I don't remember having access to this, but sure. We're making progress, but still have a long way to go. Keep at 
How did I not kill that thing? Wow. There it is. <laughs> How did I not destroy that fucking thing? Well. Yeah, that locust is fast. Yeah, we could have done that a lot faster if we had been less strategic and just bum-rushed it, but fuck it. Okay, good, it's... The leopard is shooting at it. Good, good, good. Right? Or is it the fire... Good, no, it... Yeah, the leopard is shooting at that, good. As it should. <laughs> Maybe it only shoots if it's shot at first. That's all right. Perfect. We're doing good here. We picked up an LRM-10, an LRM-15, got another million C-bills. And so the more money we get, the m better chance that I'll be able to buy a mech that's better than what we've got. Okay. We always take better tier stuff. And um, yeah, may as well. We'll go with that. Yeah, this is about right. This is actually pretty decent ratios. I can tell you. I mean, playing this game before, the Lancemate AI is pretty poor most of the time. Um, and so them at least being in the same ballpark is fine. I'm used to being doing like a thousand damage and them doing like these numbers. So for them to be doing like two thirds of my damage or at least reasonable percentages of my damage, it's pretty good considering I've got a better mech than they do. That's, that's not bad. It's really not bad. Now, if you look at total kills, yeah, it, that gets a little disproportionate. All right. Yep. Fixer cantinas are now available. Uh, yep. It's it's just telling us the the fixer uh, the cantina missions are now available. So let's take a quick look. We could do that targeted kill now. Ah, uh, the cantina's up here. Shit. All right, but what we'll probably do is we'll go to row since there's a cantina available and we'll see what the story is there. Because again, the further over here we go, the better. Uh, okay, rep recommend reputation five. And yeah, it's a little higher than I would like. Um, really don't want to be biting off more than I can chew yet. Although the mechs I've got are pretty decent. We might be able to actually handle this, but still. Um, yeah, recommended. Okay, this is actually probably better in line with what we're doing right now. Oh, we've got a high reward quest down there, so we should probably do that one. Yeah, that's what we should do. Okay. Yeah, let's do this targeted kill mission. Three days. That's fine. Yeah, three days. That works. And now we'll do the party crashers one. And we'll get our rep back. Excellent. Now, why are we getting plus 25? Is that because of our rep? That's probably because of our rep. Uh, so, yeah, let's go with salvage shares. So far, that's worked out pretty well for us. Maybe we can actually get a mech. That would be nice. Heavy weather warning is in effect, Commander. Oh my god, we got a sandstorm. That's why, because the fucking weather sucks. Oh right, I forgot to paint these mechs. We'll go with this. Right. Yep, we will wait three days. And the mission itself will take a couple of days. 
control centers have been spotted on aerial surveillance. Our mission is to identify and destroy these facilities. Be aware, these facilities are heavily guarded, so don't stick around any longer than you need to to get the job done. We'll be standing by. Nearly there, Commander. Approach the hidden object to pick it up. That works. Again, especially early, this is a godsend. Shit, I just took damage from it to close that thing. I thought I was far enough away from it. That was stupid. Oh, we got picked up a light rifle. It's kind of like a shitty low-tech uh, low weapon, but the AI is actually sort of okay with rifles. Target acquired. I got it. Good. Freeman? I didn't want to waste ammo on a turret. Man, the Aurora there looks awesome. One of the th things about this game that really, really does work well, that they did a nice job, is uh, you guys uh, focus fire on it. Good. Now that you guys are going to focus fire on that. Alright, now we have to destroy this. Damn. Just missed it. Now we can deal with this fucker. Oh, shit. Well, that's not good. Where's that enemy transport coming down? Damn. Finally shot it down. I think we can... This is not a good area to go through. We won't have a lot of room to maneuver. Let's get the hell out of here. That's a tank. Let's get the hell out of here. Up. Oh. That guy's going to be a problem. Yeah. Go after that fucking fire starter. Kill that thing with extreme prejudice. While you guys do that, I'm going to cruise around this way and attack it from the flank. Hopefully this doesn't take me all that long to get to it. And the fire starters go in that direction. Shit. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> there we go. We've got this dirt bag. Right, While they're doing up to that. <sighs> Fucker. That Good job, guys. Alright. That was a nice job. Now, let's not go back into this canyon. Go this way. We'll go around this way. That is shitty terrain to have a fight in. If anybody else shows up, I want to make sure we are not bottled up like that again. Following your lead, Commander. Come on, guys. Zoom. We'll go this way. I think we got this figured out. That thing's not damaging me again. I must be f somehow faster than some of these other mechs. Granted, this Wolverine is a fast mech, despite the fact that it's medium, but these are light mechs. They really should be 
able to keep up. It's a little frustrating that they uh, sometimes can't. I don't want to be this exposed. Let him catch up a little bit. Slow down a little. I hear them smashing into shit. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Now, maybe I should have gone around that. I wish I could actually go into that battle grid and order them from there. Now, I know there are mods that allow you to do that, but I'm kind of mystified that in the base game that that's a feature that's just not here. It's really weird. go. Let's do it. Speed up. Now what I could do is just make a run for that. Destroy it and just get the hell out. In the event that there's uh, heavier resistance. New target. Coordinating air attack. Yep. You guys go after that. Perfect. That thing in particular. Ah. Down. Let's get out. That's the last of the targets, Commander. Now get back here before hostiles converge on your position. Yeah, at this point, actually, we definitely have better mechs. And, uh, <laughs> then the, uh, challenges that we're supposed to be dealing with, for the most part. This Wolverine hero mech is awesome. Definitely helps out at this stage of the game where our pilots are just shit. Sweet. All right. Okay, I'll take a locust. We'll take a medium laser and we'll take a small laser. Yeah, I think we're good here. Perfect. Good. Good, good, good. Marvelous. All right, battle mechs. Let's, uh... Actually, I think I could just go to the mech market and we can sell that incredibly damaged locust. Yes, we'll just make 300,000. Yeah, we'll make money off that. So, yeah, so perfect. Yep, works perfect. I'll still keep that one, but it wouldn't have been worth it to repair uh, that one. Maybe two days. I'll just Plan. We could do that targeted kill, but I think at this stage we could go to row and see what the cantina has to offer. I should have waited and now I should have waited and repaired at the industrial hub. Wasn't all that expensive. We took so little damage. Which makes sense when you're in an industrial hub, things are just cheaper. And when you're in a conflict zone, there's risk and everything else. Oh, we've got arenas that we could do again. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I am not doing that. It's neat, but no. Okay, what do we got here? Uh, we can do that and pick up SRM 4. 
We could go here and pick up two SRM-2s. That's not great. I think Inferno's Wake is better. Kill 15 warrior units. Yes, we will get half a million sea bills from that. Okay, we'll do the war dog one for sure. Let's see what Inferno, where Inferno's Wake is. Is this Inferno's Wake? Yep, this is Inferno's Wake. Okay, so if we do that, one of these will have that and we can pick it up. Probably should. Let's do it. Oh, we got a hero mech on the market. So we could go and check that out. Which we might do. Which we might do. Uh, first things first. Let's go to the higher pilots. Do we have any really good pilots? Ready for action. Nice dropship, but boring as hell. Brad and ready, Commander. A much better pilot. Let's go to our pilot roster. Oof. So yeah, we could we could dismiss this one and get a better pilot. 23. Ready, 35. That's a big difference, man. That is a big upgrade. I think we should do that. Okay. We're we're gonna do that. We're gonna hire Captain Juarez. Company, now let's kick them right in the gondola. And I think we'll dismiss Lieutenant Hurst. Jeez, Freeman has definitely got some issues but he'll 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 level up at some point but in the meantime let's dismiss this pilot we don't need to be yeah we'll upgrade our pilot there perfect mech market we don't have anything that's worth buying here that's okay i probably couldn't even afford that hero mech that's there anyway it might not even be worth going to see what it is Although it is always nice to see a hero mech, but at the same time, like, why bother? Yeah, I, I, I can't afford a mech. That would be a hero mech at this point. But yeah, we may as well do this one. We'll start working on Treasure Hunter. So we'll do that. We will save. Do a new save. We'll do a new save. Because then we can also track how far along we are. So we've... <laughs> our mercenary company's been together for about a year. Is there anything else I want to do here? Um, good equipment. Is there any good equipment that we could at least buy that might be worth it? I don't think so. Salt greatsword. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm not going to invest in any of these yet. Oh, actually. You know what? Since we're here, what is actually on this? Stuff that I'm going to keep. Because that medium pulse laser is awesome. The jump jets are good. Okay. LRM-10. Yeah, those are all one-tier weapons. Those are pretty good. I like this. You know what, though? Let's, uh, let's go to the weapon groups. Actually. Let's... So far, that does seem to be working out pretty well. Although, for the AI... The AI, usually you want the long-range weapon first, and then you want to kind of go to short-range. It does seem to be firing it, so at the moment, I'm not inclined to mess with that. And that seems to be working out pretty well so far also. So, yeah. I think we're okay here. I think we're okay with this configuration. Amazingly enough. All right. We've done the cantina. All right. Yeah, there's no reason to mess around too much with that. But. Okay, so we've got a possible job item there. We've got a possible job item down there. <sighs> Garrison duty contract times two. I guess it doesn't really matter. It's going to be 27, 34, 34, 34. Well, I think we should go with the 27 days. And then we'll go from there. Because if it's not here, if this possible job item is not here, we could we could roll the dice and either go to Pattonsburg or... Ooh, you know what? You can tell. Does it show us garrison duty contract? Ah, okay, good. All right, so assassination contract. Well, we can try that one. Those are not great contracts. There. 
Ooh, we could take a House Curita job. Target independence. I'd really rather not do that. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Although we are pretty good on independence. So maybe. It's just shit, man. I don't want to be taking too many jobs against independence, but we could do this assassination contract and go after that. Potential mechs. Oh, that's actually pretty interesting. This is what we have to deal with, potentially. We can handle anything on here. Or we could just go here and do the job for the Curitas, and uh, then I don't have to necessarily worry that much about it. I don't remember what that priority mission is. Man, that one's going to be a good one. So we'll want to do the war zone for sure. Hell, we could even do the assassination too, because fuck the pirates. Okay. That being the case, knowing that... Okay. Knowing that... Yeah, let's go here, because we could do... We could do one of these and then take the job for Curita over there. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. We got this. Ugh. We've got this. So at this point, now we can view this transmission. Ah, so we could either, yeah, we could either do the job for Spears, which is uh, nearby systems have been caught in the wake of Black Furnow's march. So they're vulnerable and exposed. Many of these worlds are simple farming and extraction planets. They still offer resources that my clans are looking to acquire, shall we say reasonable prices. People are looking to pass any moral quandaries. We'd like you to help us grab the supplies we need by staging a diversionary raid. If you drop into the affected planet and grab the attention of whatever defenses are still viable, then we'll send in salvage crews while you're engaging the locals. Anything of value, our team's fine. Beyond what we need will be your payment for this contract. Uh, and then we could do this, uh, which is essentially uh, an open call to the farmers to help defend it. Um, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna accept this one for sure. And let's take a look at contracts. So we could do this one. All right, so we might have this here. So yes, let's take, let's take this contract. Go with that. This, perfect. Let's make a million sea bills. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go with Juarez on that. You can go back into your Jenner and Lieutenant Calvert can go in that Javelin. Perfect. This will do. This will do. Ally command reports okay. a local checkpoint has incoming hostiles on approach and inadequate forces to deal with incoming armor and mechs. Make contact with the on-site CO and prepare for incoming hostiles. Are we... Are we going to get that or not? Shit, we might not get this uh, other contract. If something doesn't show up on the map in a minute, we kind of got fucked on that. So it's RNG. Something may spawn here, and something may not. <laughs> and it looks like it's going to be not. That's great. Hey, Freakbot, greetings. It is here. Nothing on scopes at the moment, but don't get comfortable. Hostiles have been reported in the area. You guys go after that. I need to get over to that. So you guys go over there. You fight that. Yeah, so we're playing Mech Warrior. We're doing all right so far. Oh, you're in the middle of an ad. You're not even going to see that message, probably. 
<laughs> I'll mention again in a second. Especially while those things are coming in. They should be able to engage. Good, yep, you're you're over there. Should be alright. Since it was close by, I was able to just take that thing out real quick on my way over. Um, so yeah, we're moving right along. So greetings, Freak Bot. We're, uh, <laughs> the ad was playing, I think, when I said that the first time. In the area. Fuck. Watch out for them. Thank you, Rihanna. I'm glad you told me. All right, so I'll have to get back to the target base in a second. But yeah, we're playing Mech Warrior. Good, 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 good. Once you've found the targeted asset, move up to it, and we'll begin the recovery procedure. Okay, we got that. Mission accomplished. Nice. Alright, so that was our my cantina thing. We'll go. Focus yeah. fire. Yeah, take out that javelin. Or that Jenner. Target acquired. I'll think I'll deal with the J. Edgar unit while you guys are focusing fire on that. Good, yes. closing in. Don't worry. I got back. <laughs> Damn. Okay. So yeah, we're defending this uh, base. Recon has spotted additional bogies. Heading along a trajectory that intersects with your position. Let's see. Oh, they're over there. Let's deal with them. Damn it. I didn't activate those jump jets fast enough. Shit. That's the only problem when they get in there. We can damage our own base trying to hit them. Those little bastard. Damn, I keep missing with that. Shit. <laughs> Hard time here. Bastard. There we go. What's my heat doing? There we go. There we go. Gotcha. Alright. Additional hostiles have been dispatched. They're heading your way. Let's go. Let's go engage them away from the base. And if we're on high ground here, hopefully we're going to be on high ground. Yep. We'll just hang out right up here. And I'll let my lance go ahead of me. Destroyed you. Fucking wrecked your shit, asshole. Is in. Oh, good. Nice job, Freeman. Okay. Phew. <laughs> Alright, so we got uh, we got a warrior unit. We accomplished a cantina mission there. That was that was great. That was a fantastic early mission. We got that purification unit that they were looking for. We couldn't get the Jenner, though. That sucks. Alright, but not the end of the world. 
We'll take SRM ammo. Um, we'll take a medium laser short burst. Uh, yeah, I guess since this is more valuable, sure. All right. So yeah, we're still suspicious, but now we could take that job for Curita and get some of our rep back. Thank goodness. Okay, good. Freeman, oh man. He just went from eight to 11. That is awesome. That is awesome. We're about to actually get better at uh, missile weapons uh, and ballistics too. This will help. Yeah, our, we're still pretty bad pilot wise. Uh, we, we, we really suck. Wow, we got a lot of total damages as a whole unit. Oof. We definitely picked up some... We soaked up some damage there. But that's all right. We're just going to... We're going to earn that back with this. And boom. We now have an, a new upgrade. Sweet. Yeah, I don't think I want to upgrade that with anything yet. But that is nice to know that we've got missile range and velocity. Hell, I might even... I Actually, I might do that for the SRM uh, on this mech. But not the end of the world. All right. So let's go here. Yeah, it's mostly just armor, but... Repair. And repair. Good. Nobody took... Nobody sustained any real crazy damage. We still have that locust. We're, we're doing good. We're doing good. So... Uh, I don't see any reason to do any of those other missions. Let's go here. We'll do that mission. And, ah, we got to go to Verdi for the demolition contract. Uh, well, maybe we should just go to Verdi and do the demolition contract first. Uh, it'll be two weeks till we get there, and it'll probably be another three weeks. So the question is, do I really want to add that much time, or do we want to do the House Curita mission and at least build up our rep a little bit with Curita so that we're not so kind of behind the eight ball with them? Yeah, let's do this Curita mission, because I don't know how many opportunities we're going to have for Curita missions. So we'll just do this. Our mechs will be repaired by the time we're here. We'll probably incur some extra damage anyway. We'll repair while we're on our way back to Verdi. And then we'll figure out what we're doing after the fact. We've got this. Let's do it. Ooh, we got Acid Rain, too. Sweet. So we'll do an extra sea bill payout. Um, yeah, it would have been nice if we had the negotiation point option, but we don't because Kirita just doesn't trust us all that much, so they're not willing to pay us. But we should still be able to make some decent coin on that. And the real, the real big issue here is we're trying to recover this, this reputation. So we'll do that. So, Commander, where the conditions that was worth in it. The area oh, you know what? I keep forgetting to do that. Let's, let's do that. Let's paint this map. Um, yeah, go with that, go with something like that, let's go, with or polygon, actually that looks pretty cool, polygon looks nice, although let's go with prime, alright, so primary, And this is like so hard to kind of... Oh, there we go. There, it's red. Thank you. All right. Let's go with... Uh, oh, God. That's that's horrible. Yeah. Uh, something like that. Oh, God. That's ugly as shit. Ugh. Uh, what about digital? Oof. No, that's brutal. Uh, that was a that was a terrible plan. That was... Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> Let's not. Let's not paint the mechs. Let's not do that. Let's just go to the mission. It's it's loaded now. Fuck it. <laughs> One of these days I gotta relearn how to paint the mechs so that they don't look horrendous. Our targets have given our oh, lovely. Acid rain. Problems. My favorite. We've been hired as a solution. Find them and put them down for good. We'll be on standby to evacuate once the job is done. This one. Okay, kill all targets. We got this.
Oh, there goes that new paint. <laughs> right? <laughs> That's so true. Uh, if I had painted it, yeah. The acid rain would have washed it right off. Oh, my goodness. Now, I do need to figure out how to do that, though. Uh, I had a good paint scheme at one point, but I don't remember how much work it took me to do it. Come on. What is going on, guys? Come on. He's in the right position. But, man, the Centurion is uh, taking its sweet time here. Well, that's good. Part of it is I think my Wolverine goes faster than they do. But now we're at least close to formation. I'm showing nothing on scopes that can be identified oh. as our targets. We'll have to move on to the next nav point. Oh, that's fine. We can actually, you know what? Let's just continue walking. We've already come this far. I don't even see anything here. Good, we got that one. Oh, fuck you, urban mech. Good. Target destroyed. All right. Man, we wasted that urban mech. Holy shit. <laughs> It's another form of character create. It, it, it so is. It so is. And you know me, I could get lost in that for such a long time. I'm detecting unidentified mechs in the area. Moving in to investigate. Oh, I just tripped a patrol. They spotted us. Where are they? It's usually a helicopter. Oh, here they are. Yep. Nice. Well, that works. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Yeah, I might, I might try painting the mechs in his, and again in a second. All right, is our target up here? Our targets here. Let's find out. It's a, Looks like we're at the wrong place, Commander. You know what? Good. Our Let's just back out. Let's check out the other locations. Maybe if we go back this way. Maybe if we go back this way, we can just leave them alone. I didn't think I was going to kill that with that. Perfect. Let's go over here. Let's see if there's anything even back here. Oh, shit. Shit target identified. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Enemy mech eliminated. Wow. Okay. Yeah, we wasted that urban mech. Good. It's always nice when you could shoot a uh, turret outside of its effective range. Yeah, unfortunately, that urban mech snuck out the back. Yeah, I was just checking to see if there was some loot back here, and there is not. All right, well, couldn't hurt to look. Fuck, whatever. All right, actually, let's head back this way. Because it looks like that's the easiest way. Oh, 
Oh, that was almost really bad. Fucking SRM 40 carrier. Holy shit. Yeah, that's where our, that's where our target's going to be. It's high ground. It's well defended. Fuck. All right. Well, it is what it is. Let's do it. At least we cleaned up all this shit. Shit, that was a hell of a cannon. So at least we're not pincered. Kind of cleaned it up. All right, you fuckers. Where are you? Maybe if I shoot it, it'll show up. Also give it a time, give my uh, la last lance mate. Yeah, of course they are. Fuck. Shit. You guys deal with that. I'll clean up all this shit. Good. Plus, I'm going to get a little further away from it. Fucker. Shit. Don't you dare. Specifically pointing. Damn, how are you still hitting my right arm? That's such bullshit. I, I'm pointed away from you. You shouldn't even be able to target that location. Got our Oof. Man, that was almost really bad. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. We got to double time it. Yep, we're getting. We're double timing it. We're getting the fuck out. Yeah, we don't can't lose, uh, I don't remember if the ultra auto cannon's in the right arm or if it's in the left. Uh, yeah, it's in the right arm. Nope. We're getting the fuck out of here. I can't lose my, uh, auto cannon. Not happening. I can't believe it was still taking damage. Uh, hey, Rob. Why? Thank you. Sorry with the whole craziness. Also, it didn't seem to, I didn't hear the, uh, raid alert. But greetings, how are you? Sorry, like, chaos is a little, uh... We had a little bit of a chaos there. Okay, greetings, raiders! How are you? <laughs> yeah, things were a little... Things were a little chaotic there for a minute. <laughs> this is the perfect time to welcome everybody in. So you came at a very interesting time. Um... Yeah, I didn't hear the, uh... I did not hear the alert. Did it play, or did I just... Did I just miss it? Um, I probably just missed it, but sometimes, uh, sometimes people come in and just doesn't play super awesome with that. So yeah, let's, uh, let's pick up what we got. Ooh, we managed to pick up an urban mech. Let's do that. Perfect. And let's see. All right. Yep. That looks about right. Thankfully we didn't. Oh man. Freeman almost got cored. Holy smokes. That would have been bad. All right. So we can speak to Rihanna. It's off. Yeah, it didn't sound off. Sometimes it doesn't. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what its issue is. I don't know if sometimes Resplendent Blot's just drunk. But uh, <laughs> but there it goes. Why, thank you, Rexaria, uh, for the follow. Uh, wow. Actually, yeah, my alerts don't look like they're, they're working. I would have heard that. Um, I would have heard that in a second. But I appreciate the follow. Thank you so much. Um, 
Actually, it doesn't even look like my overlay. Yeah, it's uh, it's not even playing. It doesn't even see. Uh, you know what? I, I think my uh, I think my even though my bot's working, um, it doesn't look like uh, stream elements is connected at the moment. That's extremely unfortunate. Uh, just for the amusement of it, I just want to see something here really fast because I think that I think I heard. Nani? Yeah, the sound alerts are actually working. It's stream elements that seems to be uh, stream elements that seems to be broken at the moment. So that's interesting. Uh, I'm not really sure why, but I'll figure that out at some point later. But anyway, thank you, uh, Rexaria2, for the follow. I do appreciate that. We have fun around here at, <laughs> in Seraph's Empyrean. Um, <laughs> yeah, you guys came at, a, at an interesting time in the middle of a firefight. Um, so I ended up picking up a really valuable mech. I don't know how uh, how familiar you guys are with the uh, Battletech universe for uh, for the Raiders, but uh, we're playing a game that uh, takes place in the 31st century and wonderful now 3016. And we are piloting gigantic robots and engaging in what I affectionately call 31st century geopolitical violence. <laughs> so we're doing a bunch of jobs. We're trying to build up our rep. And... The game started, we're playing the plot, and basically the plot's pretty simple. Uh, our father was running this mercenary company. Uh, we were on a planet, we got pulled into a trap. Uh, he got killed by a mercenary unit called Black Inferno. They basically said, give us the coordinates, and everybody else is like, pretty much, uh, what the hell does that mean? And uh, we ended up having to get out of there, and one of the ways of getting out of there is we ended up getting essentially through the black market, a new mercenary ID, and so we are now called Black Sun. I didn't realize we could uh, not rename our mercenary unit, so we're stuck with that. <laughs> and so that's 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 kind of how we're at at the moment. Um, give me two seconds. Let me grab some water really fast. Actually, I don't need to rearm that, but I'm going to be right back. I'm going to get some water, and uh, we're going to get right back into the thick of this. I will be right back. I wonder why stream elements isn't working. But yeah, it's definitely a stream elements thing. The overlay. Huh. And my apologies, back. So yeah, my entire, uh, yeah, my overlay itself just doesn't seem to, uh, be active. Because normally it would, it would still be active here. That's very cool. I'm still putting in my, uh, did I have a right, right, right orientation? Yes, I do. Okay. Ah, uh, all right. So yes, welcome back. <laughs> so greetings, everybody. So yeah, we're having a good time with uh, MechWarrior 5 here. I basically did just start the game. We're still pretty early in the campaign. And I don't have it focused on the game at the moment, so it's not grabbing it. I'm extremely familiar with the... i uh, played the game since I was... a uh, Nice! Excellent! Uh, so you're you're already uh, well well up to speed with everything we do here. Yeah, I've played the... I played the tabletop. Uh, we played the RPG... Uh, Mech Warrior, which was super fun. Uh, <laughs> oh boy, did we have adventures uh, in the tabletop. Uh, read a lot of the books. The Battletech fiction, by the way, is one of the top tier genre fictions of any universe. It's fantastic, and I highly recommend it. Let's go speak to Rihanna here. Let's go up and talk to her. As we advance the plot a little bit more, we'll get there. New contract just came in, Commander. But before I get to that, I've been digging for more information on the mercenary group that came after us. Black Inferno are a very nasty piece of work. 
Not that we didn't already know that. By every account, they operate without regard to civilian rights and protection, raiding and pillaging at will, more like pirates than mercenaries. They're also extremely evasive. I see them pop up on the Mercenary Review Board's records from time to time, but not with enough frequency to justify their size, wealth or sheer power. It also makes tracking their movements extremely difficult. I'll keep searching and see what more I can find. Spears said he'll do the same. Good. I want... We all want our pound of flesh from these bastards. So, what about this new contract? Yeah, could be interesting. Seems a group of indentured employees, part of the Apex Mining Syndicate, are being taken advantage of and are suffering under horrendous working conditions. In an attempt to force the Syndicate to the bargaining table, the workers want us to inflict some serious damage on two of the Syndicate's more critical mining installations. They believe the only language these people understand is the almighty Seabill. It's hard to argue with that logic. Sounds like a noble cause. Maybe. But they're ready and willing to pay for our services, and we could use some more sea bills ourselves. I've filed the mission briefing already. You just need to sign off on the operation and get us where we need to go. Copy that. All right, so let's go here. Um, we've got we're in business, so let's take a look. It's a few transmissions. Uh, basically, she just already gave us that whole spiel. So that is over here for the campaign mission. Now we do have, I'm trying to remember where it is. You know what, it might even be this. There's the campaign mission. So maybe what we'll do is, all right, we still have this demolition contract to do. Okay, so maybe what we'll do is we'll go up here, we'll do the demolition contract. Oh, we've got a hero mech over there, huh? Damn. Although I still can't afford a, any kind of normal hero mech at this point. Okay, so here's the plan. We're gonna do the demolition contract. We'll start wandering our way back up here because if this is the quest I think it is, uh, we can do it for Kirita and we get a really nice, really fast mech out of it. Uh, but I think what we'll do is we'll go here first. We may end up hitting the industrial hub. Then we'll go do the campaign mission and we'll work our way up to doing that. I think that's a good plan. Oh, um, yeah, so let's actually repair these. And we'll sell the urban mech. Perfect. Make us a nice little lump 340 some. Perfect. Yes. We will definitely take that. Thank you very much. We're now above 8 million sea bills. It's a beautiful thing. Let's do it. Let's go to Verdi. Perfect. Marvels. And who knows, maybe we could do some more warrior units while we're here. That would be nice. Desperate for arms, independent forces, turn to... Oh, low-tech alternatives, yeah. <laughs> like the rifle and uh, those types of uh, very low-tech weapons, like chemical weapons, things of that nature. But I love the uh, the current, like the uh, the headlines. So for anybody like uh, that is familiar with the lore, you get a lot of these really fun headlines. It's like, oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, so anyway, contracts. Let's do this. We got a demolition job. Right, we'll go. Hmm. And we'll go damage coverage. Perfect. Just in case we get a little fucked up with this. Should be okay. But heck with it. Since they're giving us that, we may as well have them pay our damage bill. So 
So there are a couple of pr approaches for demolition missions. You could try just going in, doing the demolition, and just get out and try and take as little damage as possible. I'm not gonna lie. This is gonna be a dirty job. Get in there and take out the militia garrison. Doing so should allow us to get the supplies we're so desperate for. Um, or you just kind of clean up and deal with all the defenders and then destroy while nothing else is around. Armored vehicle spotted. Perfect. Target acquired. Good. You guys have got a good eye on it. Perfect. Thank you. Good job, guys. You guys, I think, have got a handle on that. Oops. You. Right, let's fuck up this base. I kind of was looking for it. I was like, just wait for it. Shit, that urban mech is going to be a problem. Shooting at me over here. They got it. That's VTOL probably. Yep. We got it. It's over. Time to get out. Man, we made quick work of that. <laughs> Now let's get the hell out of here before the reinforcements show up. Oh, okay. Thank you, Rihanna. <laughs> it's always nice when the leopard wreaks, the ha wreaks havoc. The garrison is down, but well, I don't think there's enough here. These facilities are pretty bare. We're going to likely need to hit another target. Target acquired. Yep. And we'll see where that is. Right. We'll definitely take the tier two of that. We'll take tier two of that. And then, all right, I guess the next valuable, which is going to be that. Oh wow, we could I could pick up an AC twenty? Or maybe I should. Nah, I'll have an opportunity to get another AC twenty at some point. We'll just go with this. Okay. Jeez, how did you rack up forty five thousand in damage? But whatever. The they they paying us, so it's okay. <laughs> yep, Vanna receives a message forwarding it to you. Uh, begging you to be on your way, blah, 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 blah. Nevertheless, we should press on. We have another target we need to hit if they want to, want to stay afloat. I love how Spears tells you the message of, hey, stop shooting us. Tell us what you need, and we'll tell you where you can find what you're looking for. Just let us be. Like, why even forward that message to me, dude? Like, come on, man. <laughs> come on. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. Get repair. Where are we going? Okay, so it's down here in Quincy. Yep, let's do it. And then maybe we'll hit up the cantina on our way out uh, towards this industrial hub. That's probably what we'll do. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Because originally I was going to hit up this cantina, but maybe I'll just hit up this cantina instead and we'll go to this industrial hub. Lick our wounds. See what else we need to do. Marvelous. 
So how is Project Exxon tonight, Rob? That game is so awesome. <laughs> I wish I had uh, played it when it came out. I got core by an Urban Mech 60L in my Marauder 2. Oh, yeah. That, that AC-20 is absolutely deadly. Yes. That's why whenever I see an Urban Mech, I try to keep my distance and, and take them out. Because, yeah, I've had very similar experiences. Those, uh, those trash cans are not to be underestimated. Uh, pretty good. Next Friday might be the finale. Nice. That's ex Oh, man, that's exciting. <laughs> that's going to be awesome. Yeah, that game is great. It It's so bonkers. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing like getting cored by, uh, by a super light mech um, in a, you know, 100 ton Marauder 2. Right? The Marauder 2 is 100 tons? Or is that one? Or is that one a little lighter? I'm pretty sure the Marauder 2 is 100 tons. I know the standard Marauder is, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm remembering it correctly. <laughs> like, like, you gotta be kidding me. But same thing with Hunchbacks. As soon as I see a Hunchback, I'm like, that thing has to be destroyed immediately. Because that AC-20 will just wreck you. Oh my goodness. And the freaking Hunchback is so well armored. It's got the armor of a heavy mech. It's got the firepower of a heavy mech. It's basically a heavy mech and a medium mech's body. Um, the only advantage is that it's kind of slow. And so that if you can keep your distance from that Irby and the fact that the actual weapon pod is such a, you know, a large part of it, it's easy to target that and take out that weapon at a longer distance. But man, if you, if you make a mistake and that thing closes its distance to you, you're, you're going to be hurting a lot. Yeah. Urban Max. Ugh, Urban Max. Oof. You know what? We got a raid, huh? Uh, is this a raid or demolition? No, this is a raid. So I'm, I'm not going to go the airstrike support. The airstrike support is nice for demolition missions because you could just target the, the base and it, it's actually pretty decent for that. Or the laser hunchback. Oh my goodness. Yes. No, that thing is that thing is devastating. Uh, although it's nice to have when you've got the laser vomit hunchback, especially when you target them all on the same weapon group. Boy, six or eight medium lasers hitting the same location, especially if it's the head. Boom, instant headshot. But no, that that is not a fun. Yeah, so both variants of the of the hunchback. You're right. Those things are awful. <laughs> They're awful to fight, and they just have to be destroyed immediately. I serve trying to figure out if I want to go with damage coverage again or not. Uh, I think we'll go to salvage shares this time. I'm going to I'm going to take the I'm going to take the risk here. Uh we're we're going to go with this. We've got this. We've got this. <laughs> Alpha strike is the only way I play. That's right. Override heat threshold. <laughs> so you'll you'll find this amusing, Rex. Um my friend Phoenix Nade, he has a very similar approach. And that guy, he's like a mad scientist when it comes to mech designs. So he had a uh I forget what he built it on, but he had a mech and it, you know, I'd have to ask him exactly which one it is, but long story short, he uh, mounted four, four or five PPCs on the thing. And I don't think it was much more than like a medium mech or a heavy mech. If it was like a light heavy mech of some sort, I, I'd have to ask him what it is, but needless to say, Every time he fired it, and he always did an alpha strike, it would shut down the mech and do damage to it. So he did the math, and he's like, well, but if I hit something with it, they all hit the same location, and the mech dies. So yeah, I power down, but the mech I shoot at dies. And I could shoot it three times, and when I shoot it the fourth time, my mech explodes. So... So he just decided his plan was, I'm just going to live with that. Damn it. Thought it would still shoot at them. Thought I could just hang back there. I could not. All right. So now it's lost. Ah, I missed it. That max destroyed. Come on. Got it. Got that that time. Wow, I missed you. Okay. 
Got you that time. All right, we got a problem here. Got that one. Now, oh, fuck. Where? Where's that enemy transport? Well, let's deal... Focus target updated. Yeah, focus target on that for sure. We'll deal with this shit. All right, let me grab this before things get too crazy here. That's close enough. Ready to start pickup operation. Uh, Something shooting the shit out of me here. Beginning recovery God. now. Uh, come on, come on. Good. I'm very liberal with that command because otherwise the AI uh, isn't very effective. Shit, we blew up the wrong fucking ah, stupid Vulcan. We've really fucking kicked over a beehive here. Jesus Christ. Oh, this was a fucking disaster. We fucking aggroed everything. God damn it. Okay, new plan. You guys keep distracting with that. We fucked up. Damn. See if I can hit it from here. Thank you. Got it. Okay. Just get the fuck out of here. Let's get the hell out of Dodge. Yeah, get the hell out. Actually. Yeah, go over there. Good, yes. Okay. That's why I'm telling you to get the hell out of there. Yeah, we gotta get the hell out of here. Thanks for the leopard showed up. Alright. The system is officially offline. We're moving in to gather the supplies. Good work, boss. Damn it. Good. We got that, Bucker. <sighs> okay, that was. Hey, Silly Polestar, how are you, man? Good to see you. Okay, that was the right decision. Just just destroy those and get the hell out of there. Unfortunately, all three swarms just kind of swarmed us, and now it's time to just get the hell out. Uh, although we still got a panther out of the deal, so cool. Now, how bad? How badly did we get damaged? Ah, oh, you lost something, Juarez. Damn it. Oh, he lost the AC-10. That's what happened. You lost the AC-10. This is where I should have taken damage coverage. <laughs> that game looks so good. Yeah, this is fun. This is a fun game. Ugh. Yeah, that, that, got, that got out of control. But that could have been a lot worse. That could have been a lot worse. We still ended up in the green, even with the damage. So we still end up making a million C-bills. Uh, and we still got this. So we still got our half million C-bill payout. We got medium pulse lasers. So good. If I lose my pulse laser, I could replace it. We got heat sinks. We got jump jets. We got small pulse lasers. That was really nice. Okay. So, yeah. We are going to lick our wounds here. Because uh, that was bad. Let's go to Lexington. Let's hit up the cantina. Let's see what's there. And then we'll, um, we'll lick our wounds and we'll recover. We'll head up to the, um... Head up to the industrial hub, and that's where we're actually going to do our repairs. But let's see what this cantina has to offer. Cantina missions are awesome because they give you permanent upgrades to your mechs. And so, collect one spider mech. Uh, yeah, spider mechs are fairly common. We can do this one. I think I like that. I, I mean, the rifle is kind of, well, it's a tier four light rifle. 
We probably should do these. We're going to have tons of opportunities for this. So yeah, let's do the war dog. We do encounter a decent number of spiders. So we should... Let's collect one. Because we could buy one and then turn it in. But uh, yeah, let's call, we'll, we'll do this one too. Because we can always abandon a mission if it turns... Uh, abandon one of these cantina missions if it turns out to be too challenging. And so we collect these. All right. Now we hit up our star map. That was a good stopover point. Now we're going to go to Evansville. We'll see what's here. And then we'll... We'll recover. And hopefully our uh, Centurion isn't too badly damaged. Although it looks like it got both of its arms blown off. Which the left arm, not a big deal. The right arm with the auto cannon, that stinks. All right, so, okay, rare double heat sink. We are buying that. That's, that's a total no brainer. We're buying that immediately. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, I wonder what the difference is between an arena supercharger and the other one. But, uh, you know what? For the only 15,000 C bills, yes, we'll buy them. Why not? Okay. We can buy an Ultra Auto Cannon 5. And then if we lose it, yeah, I think we have to go with that. We totally have to go with that, even though it's a million sea bills, and that's a lot for our, ch our, our war chest at the moment. But then if we lose it, it's not completely devastating. I am not spending a million dollars on that PPC, however. Okay, that was good. That was good. We needed that uh, battle max. Oh, we've got this panther. We could sell that. Perfect. All right, now we repair you. Let's see. Destroyed weapon. Yeah. Okay, we have an AC-10 replacement, so we could just uninstall it and reinstall this. Okay. That's not terrible. That is not terrible. Let's repair you. Let's repair you. Now let's go to the mech market. Oh, we could purchase this one and just collect it. Yeah, let's do it. Confirm purchase. Yes. Let's turn that in. Yes. Because we're going to make... We only lost a million sea bills, but we now uh, got this. Perfect. Let's claim. Perfect. So now we've got a permanent upgrade. And what these do is these allow us to be better than any other mech in the game by upgrading them in a very unique way. None of the other enemy mechs will ever be upgraded this way, which is helpful considering we're always outnumbered. Always. And so, all right, so this condensed cycle time, uh, rapid recharging, reduce cycle time for energy weapons. Okay, cool. So my energy weapons can uh, fire more uh, more quickly. I don't know if I'm going to actually bother to apply that to a mech, but at the moment, but depending on the mech, that is very, very useful. So yeah, that was worth it doing. Because mech collector, eventually we get into like plus five ballistic damage. That in combination with the ultra auto cannon is going to be awesome. Uh, so yeah, that's exciting. That's very exciting. Okay. What am I doing? Let's, uh... Finally! Got something for me, big boss? Yeah, I don't see any... You ready to stop wasting my time? Yeah, no. Uh, I don't like any of these pilots in particular, so we don't need to worry about that. Okay. We are repairing... Yeah. The Centurion's only going to take 18 days to repair. That's actually not all that bad. That is not bad at all. Oh, um, let's sell, right. sell the Panther. Yep. Good. Sell that. Yep. Give me money. And, um, real quick. You actually, I just picked up an Ultra Auto Cannon 5 that's better than that one. Although what I may do is I may just keep it in reserve. Just in case I... You know what? That's what I'll do. I'll wait and see if this one gets blown off. And if this one gets blown off, I've got a better auto cannon that I can replace it with. Or maybe I should just... You know what? Let's do it. Yes. Let's refund that. And let's go into the loadout. Okay. Let's repair all. Five. Ultra Auto Cannon 5. Okay. Because, yeah, when you start getting into the higher tiers, they do so much more damage. Uh, this one 
does 6.7 damage, whereas the other one does 6.4. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, the rate of fire is a little bit better. Projectile speed is better, I think. Yeah, the projectile speed is significantly better. Yeah, we'll keep that. We will keep that. Okay. That works. That'll be eight days instead of three. That's fine. Perfect, because we're not going to get that. We're not going to get that anyway. Is there anything I want to do here? I don't think so. I don't really worry about a mech, rare mech. I'm probably not going to be able to afford it. Oh, let's take a look at the cantina that's here. Collect one fire starter mech. No, I'm not going to bother with that. Well, SRM2. That's a pretty decent SRM2. Fire starter is at least fairly common. We might be able to do that. And they're going to pay us decently to do it. So, sure. Sure. Apex Mining Syndicate. Where is the Apex Mining Syndicate? That's not this one. That's Inferno's Wake. This is the Apex Mining Syndicate. Okay. Let's do that. Meh. Shitty. But, again, it's something we can do. And it's not going to be too bad. We've been seeing a shit ton of Igor units. So, yes. Let's do that. All right. I don't think there's anything else we need to do in this industrial hub. We repaired? Yeah, there's no reason to go here unless we wanted to go to the capital of the Federated Suns, which I don't see any reason to go here. Although, if memory serves, there is some pretty good rare equipment and good stuff in that industrial hub. But at this time, I'm inclined to say let's head up this way and try and do these missions so that we can get the job item. Probably going to be the garrison duty. But we can do it. We can do it. I like this one. Let's go up this way. We'll get there in 27 days. Everything will be upgraded. We can do that. And then we'll go up here and we'll see this. Yeah. So far, so good. Let's do it. Yes. Excellent plan. <laughs> Hopefully, we can get our environmental suits cash. Yeah, <laughs> blow everyone up! Hey, Dark Star, greetings, my friend. How are you? We're playing some BattleTech. Well, Mech Warrior specifically, indiscriminately. You know, that's not far off. <laughs> That kind of isn't far off. Our, we Because we, we pretty much will take a job with just about anybody, except pirates and raiders. How are you doing tonight? How is SmackDown? Tonight's SmackDown, right? I think tonight's SmackDown. I always forget which one is which. We'll do contracts. Yes! We can do this one. So yeah, let's do this one first. Yeah, actually, that's perfect that we can uh, get paid by Curita to fight off Davian. And then we'll do Noble Cause, which we need. So perfect. Yep, yep, yep. This is excellent. Not that it matters. Yeah, we'll take the extra salvage. Sure. sure. Uh, yeah, I think we'll do that. Extreme weather warning is in effect, Commander. You'll have limited visibility out there and have to contend with sensor malfunction. It definitely smacked in a downward direction. <laughs> sounds sounds like tonight's was an interesting episode. Oh, wow. This fog sucks. Allied command reports a local checkpoint has incoming hostiles on approach and inadequate forces to deal with incoming armor and mechs. Make contact with the on-site CO and prepare for incoming hostiles. Okay, so I specifically am going to walk around that because I want to pick up our... There it is. One of the items of interest we're after may be found in this location. Let's do it. Let's grab that. in the spot designated on your map. Yeah, let's grab that first, and then we'll do our garrison duty here. We got time. We got time. <laughs> wow, this fog is terrible. Holy shit. That is bonkers visibility. Oof. I can't see shit on this ball of ice. But it should help with our heat situation. Wow, I'm loving the uh, ambience here. Who's up 
this. Should be all right here. Walk on up to the treasure to pick Take it this up. too. Nothing like a little bit of a scavenger hunt. What'd we get? 13,000 sea bills and a couple of mother medium lasers. Nice. No high beams in the future? <laughs> I know, seriously. <laughs> Although high beams and fog is, is, uh, is, is not what you want to do. That's why you have fog lights. But yeah, thankfully we've got sensors. Shoot that. Or I don't want to run into that. I will take damage. Come on. That hidden asset should be close, Commander. Got it. Excellent. Now we just can Good. just like that, we just got ourselves a nice little bonus cantina mission. Up. Oh, there's our base that we gotta defend. You've reached the target, Commander. We'll see where things are going to show up from. Happy to have you Oops. with us, Commander. Though you're cutting it a little short, enemy forces have already been mobilized and will be here soon. Now fan out and take defensive positions. Prepare for incoming hostiles. Yeah, here they come. Group target received. Okay, you hit it. Hiding behind that. While you do that, I'm gonna go deal with this tank. Yep, good. My land. Um, I don't want to worry about this tank. Enemy mech eliminated. Good job, guys. Ah, there. It's one of the more tanks. Destroy it. Hostiles inbound. Brace for contact, Commander. Good. Focusing our fire on target. I don't think. Yep. I don't think I'm hit. Yes, I am. Alright, I'll deal with the aircraft here. AI tends to have a hard time with uh, those types of units, and so I just decided proactively to deal with it. Oh, that's an SRM carrier. Fuck, 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 fuck. All right, let's try and see if I can get this. I don't have line of sight to it. Ow. I'll deal with that SRM carrier in a minute. Let's see. How do I want to deal with this answer? It's coming down that valley. We'll deal with it over here. That thing just absorbed a lot of LRMs. How is it still alive? <laughs> well, that's all right. In a second. More enemies inbound. <laughs> they really are gunning for you, Commander. Watch out. Good deal with this asshole. We got another one over there. All right, let's deal with this one first. 
and then we'll deal with the other assholes. Let's focus fire. Man, this fog is really messing with me. Yep, that's a mountain. Now I can hit it. Trying to core it. There we go. We're on your target, Commander. Yeah, you guys deal with that. I will deal with the SRM carrier. They're just now closing in. Yeah, it's around the other side of that. I'll close into that. And we'll have it. Good. You guys are dealing with the enforcer. It's three on one. You guys should be able to handle that. last one. We got this. It's fucking enforcer. Employers <laughs> will be pleased that we have held our ground and saved this facility. Good work, Commander. So that worked. That base barely took any damage. And we picked up some extra salvage while we were there, too. So that was extremely productive. Yeah, there was no way to really do that. But you know what? We'll replace the AC-10 we lost. We'll pick up that. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just go with whatever is valuable now. Jet pets. We'll eventually sell a bunch of these jump jets. Cool. Wow, you outdamaged me. That's amazing. All right, Juarez. Nice job. Nice job, and Freeman with two mech kills. All right, you guys. Not too shabby. Man, I wish the AI was always that effective. But we got this. Claim that. Perfect, we got quick ammo feed. We're getting there with our upgrades. Now let's repair. Crews over here. Now we can do our campaign mission. Sweet. We'll have to wait a little bit, but. Uh, yeah, that's the amount, maximum amount we can get for uh, our Apex client. But that's okay. Uh, again, at this stage, you're better off doing C bill payout. Although I could take damage coverage just in case I get fucked up from this. Maybe I should. Damage coverage ends up being, uh, well, hold on. No, it's 300,000. I'm better off just going the C bill payout. I should only do damage coverage if I think I'm going to get just wasted. That's the only way that it's really better. So yeah, let's confirm that for a quick second. These are going to be worked on. Give me two seconds. I'm just going to take a quick bio break. I'll be right back. And then we'll play this campaign mission.
Now let's do this. Okay, we've got this. Boom! So let's wait. We will wait a week for those mechs to get repaired. Let's do this. So you can see why I went to the uh, Valentina place to get the free Hero Wolverine. This mech is... really makes the early game much, much easier. And there are a couple of good Wolverines that are actually easy to get, too. There's one you could buy for, like, all of, uh... That was a nice shot. That was bad. Okay. Let's go. Good job, Freeman. Man, I barely even registered that, uh, that target before you blew it away. Oh, guys, all right. Get out of the way, buddy. Thank you. Target Well, that we need to take out. Bunch of turrets. I don't know. Hell of a time with these little bastards. God, I still didn't think. Good grief. Right. Got it. Thinking, yeah, let's just do a straight run. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Man, that was uh that was a brutal skirmish. Fuck. All right. You know what? Let's head up this way. Good job. Wow, we got a lot of targets out this way. Jesus Christ. At the tanks. On the plus side. Okay. okay, we are not going back in there. We're going to go along this cliff face. We are not going back into that ravine to be shot at from both sides of this high ground. Uh uh. Thankfully, I did not go into the trap. Because, yeah, I was about to just go up that way, and that would have been... That would have not been good. I don't like how Juarez has taken a lot of damage. That worries me. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Stupid-ass turret. Target destroyed. Death by a thousand paper cuts this mission. Holy shit. <laughs> Our employer wants this 
this area cleared of all tanks. That's a cantina tank. <laughs> Dude, seriously. <laughs> It showed up for just a second. Did one of my, uh... Nope. Oh, turret. Here it is. That tank. Well, whatever it is, I think one of my lance mates got it. Absolutely had to do that. Alright. Man. Whew. This is crazy. <laughs> but it's, it feels like we kicked over a beehive, doesn't it, Dark Star? Oh my goodness. Let's go finish off this mission, evac, and go home. Oh, no! <laughs> yeah, let's focus fire over here. That was actually a really low-key nice shot. Yeah, I think we've raised enough hell. <laughs> oh, man. Jump jet fuel low. Jump jet fuel empty. Whatever. I was just using that to speed up the ascent over the hill. Success, Commander. Hell yeah, it was. Now let's do the damage assessment on Juarez. Holy smokes. This will be fun to see how many things we killed total. How much bullshit did we actually deal with there? Granted, we got paid very well for it. I got the Marauder uh, BH. It's slow, but it has five medium lasers and three PPCs. That more than makes up for the light. Yeah. Yeah, when you're a walking siege engine, that's kind of like the Annihilator. The damn thing walks slow, but anything that comes within range just gets deleted. <laughs> um, I don't think I ever got the Marauder. Uh, you know, I've never gotten a Marauder 2 in this game. Um... I've just never been able to pull that off. Now, there's one where you fight one. Um, I've just... I've been able to kill it, but I've never either had enough salvage points or never got lucky enough for it to spawn. I don't remember why. But yeah, I've never actually picked up a, uh, a marauder. Um, a, a good hero marauder in this game. It's, uh, it's unfortunate. It's very unfortunate. Uh, one playthrough, I got a Warhammer Black Widow. That thing was awesome. You can mount four machine guns on it. That is an amazing, uh, amazing, amazing warhammer. Now yeah, we'll go with the. Now we'll go with the medium laser. Yes, actually, yeah, we'll go with the LRM ten since I don't have any of those. Uh, yep, we ah, uh, that's why we got paid for all of those. Destroy the satellite uplinks. Perfect. So yes, we made money. Um, once again, you're taking damage to the arm that has the valuable thing in it, not the shield arm that has nothing. Ugh. I wish I could tell the AI, be like, yeah, let anything do damage to that. Like, be my guest. Like, we don't care. Oh, my goodness gracious. But yeah, let's see. Oh, my God. I killed 26. Wars killed seven. Jeez. Yeah. 
This is about right. But damage is really not all that bad. I'm only out damaging them two to one. That's that's really not terrible. That's a pretty good showing by the, by the AI, all things considered. This is this is pretty good. So yeah, heard back from our employers. The syndicate has agreed to conduct ongoing negotiations with the miners, thanks to your, our efforts. See, so yeah, we got an SRM4, and we got a tier two large laser. That works. And we killed five warrior, uh, 15 warrior units. Sweet. Yes, this is a fantastic um, upgrade. I love the expanded sensor range. I absolutely love the expanded sensor range. They spawn quite often in Merrick space at the three big hubs. I will keep that in mind. I'm definitely going to keep an eye open for that. Because that's a that is a great mech. That's actually where I think I uh, speak. Are you, are you referring to the Warhammer Black Widow? Because I think that's where I picked that one up. Or are you referring to the Marauder that you got? And I think one playthrough I ended up. Uh, yeah, yeah. The playthrough I get picked up, I, I got it in Merrick space if I if I remember correctly. Um, and in oh God, what is it? Oh, um, and there's a really good Highlander that spawns in Steiner space. The Marauder 2. Wow, the Marauder 2 spawned in Merrick space. That's amazing. That is amazing. Oh, my God. That's awesome. <laughs> wow, we picked up some pretty good reputation there. All right. And we're almost there with ground vehicles. That's going to be nice in a second. Okay, so we're here. We did that. We could just hop here to Franklin to go to the black market and that. But at this stage, I think what I'd rather do... We're far away from the industrial hubs. Okay, we are far away from the industrial hubs. Let's repair this. What took all that damage? Wow, it's just... It's nothing all that special. It's just that. All right. Not the end of the world. We'll repair. We're still in good shape, C-bill-wise. And... I think... Let's do this. And yeah, let's go with the expanded sensor range. I love this upgrade. It's not all that expensive. And it really helps, especially uh, with, detect uh, with the detection range. Oh my god. Especially when you have LRMs and whatnot. That becomes extremely useful. But yeah, for the for the nonsense, yeah, that's, that's just, that's an easy one. Uh, for this particular mech, I don't really see any of these other upgrades being worth it. So we'll, we'll do that. The 11, yeah, I'll take the advanced sensor range. Please, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, if nothing else, for me to be able to command my lance mates a little earlier, that becomes worth it. How many cantina jobs do I have at the moment? I've got four. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's hop to this because it's all it's going to be all of 13 days. I think that's worth it, and then we'll hop over here. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Real quick. See if there are any easy cantina missions to do. We'll pick it up. It's only an extra week, considering all that travel we have to do. It's really not that big of a deal. And for the opportunity for more cantina stuff, it's worth it to do. Collect one Vulcan mech. And although an AC2 burst fire tier 4 is not bad. Collect. That's a lot of machine guns to collect. But tier 0, we should be able to do that. Hell, we might already have this. Uh, collect 5 junk jets, class 3. Yeah, let's do that. And we'll do this as well. Let's see what we can do. Can I? Alright, so how far along are we? My experience, usually they don't sell what you need that quick. Oh, all right. But we'll start. We'll start with that. Jump jets. We need jump jets. Uh, they've got quantity and all right. Okay. But we'll pick up two of those. Objective logs. All right. So how far am I? I need five and I've got two. And I need ten and I've got two. Lovely. Okay. Well... We'll get there. We'll get there. Okay. Star map. Perfect. Black market. I don't think there's a different tab for the black market. Right? It's just purchase and everything's just kind of here. Yeah. It's not like the other game where there's a different tab. I'm not worried about this shit. Okay. 
mech market. Is there any good mechs? There usually are not. I think I could just go here. Although for the bullshit, yeah, I'd rather just go here and have the option of these missions and it should be close enough to get that to trigger. So yeah, let's let's pay the cost to go there and let's go. Let's see what's up with these missions. I mean, I could have done view intel. We need to go up to this conflict zone regardless. That's what we wanted. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Actually, let's take a look. Uh, yeah, let's take a look at equipment. Let's see if any of my stuff is here. Of course it's not. Okay, so we could do, ah, all right. We could do frontline support, Curator, frontline support, Davian. Uh, General called her arms to enlist aid of, okay, this is not what I was thinking, but you know what? We might do this anyway, just to get some Curator rep. We don't need a lot of Davian reps, so we're going to do Legend of the Kestrel Lancers, but we don't need an abundance of rep to start that. I just don't want to be anything below um, negative with them, but we're going to be in Davian's face. We're going to have an, a lot of opportunities to take Davian missions. I'm not that worried about that. I'd rather get out of the hole with Kirita. And so, yeah, I think we're going to accept this, this support here to uh, assist in defense efforts against the invading forces of the Federated Suns. Let's do that. Let's do that. That's that's not really what I was thinking here, but it's not that big. <sighs> we could actually do this mission since we're going to be taking... What is this? Uh, yeah, let's not do that. Yeah, we'll do this mission while we're here in the system. Or, you know, we'll take a look. we could just go to Bergman's planet now. Demolition contract. You know what? Why don't we just go here and we'll do the frontline support? Let's just go here and let's just do it. Fuck it. We got a demolition mission. We're we're doing this. I don't think I need to micromanage the rep that badly. Maybe the mission I was thinking of is much deeper into Curita space than I thought. Yeah, there's no fire starter here. It's frontline support. What's in these crates anyway? <laughs> I love some of the quest names. We got a demolition mission. We'll do this. Yeah, we'll just go see Bill pay out here. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. Let's do this. All right. Would be nice to get a better mech than a Jenner or a Javelin, but so far these are holding their own. And the nice part, I don't have to, uh, it's Friday, so don't have to work tomorrow. Not that I had to work today, but I can pretty much just keep playing until I, until it's like a good place to stop. Although I don't think I'm going to be up that late. And I'm probably not going to be streaming tomorrow afternoon. My friend is hosting a game night or a game day. So I'm going to cruise over there and deal with that. Another friend of mine's out of, come in from out of town. Get in there and give him hell. Let's do this. Let's just go up and wreck this place. Oh, I should have done the airstrike if I could have. Fuck. Fuck. No, you guys go after that.
get anywhere near fucking melee range of it. Finally killed it. Jeez. Is that thing? Yeah, the hunchback is still. Yeah, let them deal with that. Damn it. Shoot me with that fucking thing. Fucking urban mechs. I hate them so much. Walking trash can pieces of shit. There we go. Nice kill. That's even Come on. as much of this fucking base as possible. These reinforcements are going to show up in a fucking hurry. This yes. I love how they try to beg you. Yep, here are the reinforcements. Here, you guys deal with that. Can't fucking shoot through these walls. Damn it. And I'm gonna try and smash while uh while my allies deal with that shit. out of dodge. Holy shit, we lit that fucking mech up. Got one of them. Well, let's get the hell out of here. Damn it. That must be one of the tanks we contracted for. Our assigned mech target is on the field. Oh Let's shit, is it really? I don't, I don't see it. Still. Alright, good. Leopard is here to help out. My Matt, how's my Lance doing? Got it. Oh, the spider. Yeah, we go. We gotta kill that thing. Kill that thing. Fuck it up. There we go. Now we can get the hell out of here. Money in the bank tomorrow night, so I ain't streaming any. Ah, nice. <laughs> yep, keep playing till the brain stops working. Yeah, let's get the hell out of here now. 
Yeah, that's the only problem with the demolition missions is, boy, do the reinforcements wreck your shit if you let them. But that worked out. I actually thought the leopard would help us more than it did, though. It's unfortunate that it didn't, but whatever. That was still excellent progress for our cantina operations. Hopefully I didn't suffer a lot of damage from that. Yeah, we can't pick up any of that. That's fine. We'll take a large laser, sure. I don't think there's anything else of value. Nope, there isn't. Continue. Wow, we dealt a lot of damage. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Oh, you got an arm blown off, looks like. Not a big deal. Let's see our job rewards. Cool. Yeah, we picked up a lot of, uh, picked up that. So we did pretty well there. Why does Rihanna want to speak to us? Damn, that Jenner took a lot of damage. Yep, we lost two medium lasers. That's what, that's, uh, yeah, because the arm got blown off. It is what it is. Let's see, do I go to an industrial hub to repair? Or... Rather just repair and then go to Grady's Luck. We got 13 days. All right, let's see, let's just preview this. 21 days. Nah, we'll just do it. Fuck. Yeah, Freeman got a little wrecked. It happens. Let's speak to Rihanna. Freeman got a little wrecked, but no big deal. We still actually, that was still even, even that was still profitable. Believe it or not. Hello, Commander. I've just ah. received a transmission from Spears. I thought you should hear it firsthand. Rihanna, Commander. I've been trying to find out more information on Black Inferno as you requested. What I uncovered is quite intriguing. Based on several reports from regional governments, combined with my own intelligence sources, I've been able to track some of Inferno's movements. Those movements correspond very closely with areas of increased refugee displacement within the Inner Sphere. Now, I believe the two are connected. How they're connected or why, I don't know yet. But when I do, I'll be in touch. Interesting. I'm hoping we can use that confluence of events to help us track Inferno down. Make them pay for what they did. Right now, though, we need to keep earning money and increasing our combat strength if we hope to win that fight, if and when it finally comes. Our newest contract appears to be the result of Inferno activity, just as Spears described. After an Inferno attack inside Marek territory, Marek refugees fled for their lives. Their only path of escape was across the border into Liao territory. House Liao is refusing the refugees free passage back to Marek space with the intent of destabilizing the contested border region. Not surprisingly, <laughs> House Politics. is incensed over the matter. All their diplomatic efforts have thus far been rebuffed. That's only exacerbated the situation. It's gotten to the point now that Marek have decided to take a different tack. They want us to send a message to House Leo by assassinating the local governor overseeing the detention of the refugees. Pretty sure that'll get their attention. The mission briefing has already been prepared, Commander. We leave on your orders. Copy that. Hmm. Yeah, they tried playing nice, and now, uh... <laughs> it's like, you know what? We'll blow up a bunch of their shit and make them reconsider. So just for a uh, visual standpoint, we're just gonna go here. But this mission is gonna be all the way... Uh, wait, over here somewhere? Where is that mission? I don't remember where that mission is. It's like over here somewhere. Um, good grief. Well, there's a high reward quest over here that we'll take. But uh, but yeah, it's like over here somewhere. For some reason, I'm not seeing it. Maybe because we need to get closer there. But yeah, that mission's going to be all the way out here. So we're not going to... Oh, maybe I have to accept it first. You know what? I probably... I have to accept it first. Yes. Now, if we go over here, it will... Uh, yeah. It'll be all the way... Yeah. All the way over here in Heisen. Uh, so yeah, we're we're not gonna do that one for a little while yet. Uh, we still got, you know, I don't remember which one that is. But yeah, these high reward quests, if you can handle them, they're so worth it. Well, we're about to finish this one. We've got 13 days 
We actually have... Yeah, so we'll wait an extra week for the Jenner to get repaired. Not the end of the world. I think there's a mech market thing here to do. Nope, there's not. So let's do it. Let's go to the star map. Let's deal with this frontline defense. Boom. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, depending on how I feel, I might end up streaming tomorrow night. But I, I will, either way, I'll stream Sunday night. Jump Jets Class 3. Let's look anyway. Yes. Let's pick that up. There we go. Claim that. Perfect. Ooh, and then uh, we can actually have our Jump Jets burn a little longer. That we, we will probably do. We will probably do that upgrade for this Wolverine to keep it. Sweet. We're going to keep this Wolverine for a little while. Although the problem is the AI doesn't actually use jump jets. So I don't even know if that really makes a lot of sense to equip a mech that um, that the AI is going to use if I end up handing it off. But Let's do it. We're doing a raid. Let's raid. That's the maximum out of that. Um, yeah, we're still better off doing salvage shares here. The extreme weather conditions will interfere with your sensors and will most likely restrict visibility. Be so careful wait. out there. Perfect. Let's do this. The oh, hello, cat. Are making a hard push into Dakar's control planets. We'll let the official Curitan forces handle oh, them head on. But in the meantime, we're tasked with going behind their front line and crippling their ammo stashes. Let's get in and out quickly. I don't want to spend too much time out here. Wow, that's really snowy. Hello, kitty kitty. You know, I love you too, cat. Acquisition, just walk up to it in order to pick it up. That's <sighs> close enough. Ready to start pickup operation. And they nicked my legs a little bit. That's unfortunate. Well, let's see. What did we just pick up? Did you? I thought I got it, Freeman. But you know, I'll take your word. I'll take your word for it. Sweet. Well, that was easy. Yeah, let's uh, let's just continue this way. We'll have high ground for this one. Got another one. New target, urban mech. Target received. Engaging. You guys go deal with that fucking target thing. Applied. You guys deal with the mechs. You. Got something up here. Probably a flying shit. Blow that thing down. Take out of that urban mech. Found the targeted asset. Move up to it, and we'll begin the recovery procedure. Tango down. All right, let's go find whatever this was. It's around here. Ah, yeah, it is over here. <laughs> hey, Sarum, how are you? We're having some fun here. We're uh, yeah. we're playing Mech Warrior Five. Oh. Standing right on top of that turret. Whoops. 
<laughs> Whoops. How are you doing? I'm doing well. We're having fun here. Including my co-host, Cleo, who was just here at my feet. Is this the game that's on sale on Steam? The name looks familiar. This game, I think, is for sale on Steam, although at the moment, I think half the Steam library is on sale. Whoops. Let's keep the full throttle here. Yeah, let's just go this way. Um, but yeah, I think this game is on sale. Uh, I ended up picking up a couple of the extra DLC for it. The problem, the only thing I think it's, I would call a negative is this game has an absolute crap ton of DLC for some reason. But uh, I did pick up some of the melee weapons for it. And we're essentially big stompy robots. This is us. <laughs> Every so often I'll go into drone mode, but only only very rarely. Oh, another urban mech. Ugh. Uh, I don't think it is. Especially when you've got so so much of it. Oh, we got a... Oh, this locust. Locust is really uh, proving to be a problem. Yeah, sure, Locust, run right at me where I can target you. Oh, uh, Freeman, what are you doing, buddy? Uh, Freeman, you have completely lost the plot, dude. All right, let's just get the heck out of here. My goodness, we kicked up a beehive. Where is it? Oh, we got another one. Shit. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. This is just terrible. <sighs> yeah, seriously. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Freeman got cored. Freeman, how did you let that happen to you, buddy? Oh my goodness. Granted, that was a hornet's nest, but oh my goodness, right? Yeah, beehives, yep. Yeah. No. Oh no! <laughs> oh, come on, no. Oh. Man, this thing is lighting me up. Come on, guys. There we go. <sighs> Turn you into slag. Man. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Holy smokes. Well, this turned bad. Pikachu makes you sad. Yeah, that sucked. That sucked. Freeman may have died. Oh my goodness. That would be terrible if I lost the pilot. Right, let's get out of here. Man. Man, oh man, oh man. That was bad. That was bad. Oh. We got an S. <laughs> hey, Serum, it's your favorite vehicle, the SRM carrier. <laughs> oh, that's great. Freeman 2, free. Yeah, free of his mortal coil. <laughs> uh, he is a cool NPC, though. I like him. I hope he has survived uh, getting cored. He had been doing well for us, too. But uh, the last time, uh, the last mission, he lost an arm. And in this one, oh, yeah, let's try and get this. It's a shame I couldn't get our guys down there to try to steal some of the goods. Oh, well, the paycheck shouldn't worry. We still picked up a few decent ones here. Excellent fight, Commander. Beginning recovery now. Yeah, the spread was too bad on that one. Hey, <laughs> they're SRM. <laughs> Isn't any vehicle SRM enters technically an SRM carrier, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh chat you you guys rule Ooh, we got a panther let's take that um yeah i don't see anything else particularly good here let's pick up another medium laser though because oh boy injured okay he's not dead he's not dead he survived but boy yeah i should have taken the damage uh compensation here we still technically made money out of that but not really we were still, we're still in the green, but not by much. That stunk, man. Ugh. Poor Freeman. Oof. Oh, well. We did, we still did okay here. We still did okay. Let's see. Oh, we got a spider. 
Cool. May it serve us well. All right. And we got important rep with Curator, which was very, very important. Okay. So now we need to zoom out a little bit. Okay. Well, let's go to this industrial hub. And let's recover a little bit. Yeah, Freeman went from okay to dead in a to cord in a real hurry. Oof. He could have died in that though. Very, very Ooh, we got a rare tra hero trebuchet. Maybe we can buy that. Let's see. That would be really exciting. We can technically afford it. Okay, so let's don't need the Oh, I don't need the spider anymore. Okay, so perfect. Let us sell. You know what? We're going to sell the Jenner because it's going to be expensive to repair and it's not worth it. So we're selling that. We're going to sell the Locust. We're going to sell that spider. Wow. Why is that spider so? Oh, because it's fully intact and everything else. Maybe I should keep the spider. Maybe I should keep that spider, actually. That spider is not bad. Okay. Maybe I should keep it. I'll go to Battle Max here. Let's repair you. We'll repair you, and we'll repair you. And now... We can definitely afford the trebuchet, and what I really like about it is it's got a Beagle Act of Proven, it's got an anti-missile system. So this is a... This is a cool... This is a very cool trebuchet, and it's uh, short range, so it'll do really, really well. Can you customize the color of this? Yes, you can. You can. <laughs> Funny you mention that. Uh, I'm not very good at it, but you can absolutely customize the colors of these. I actually really like this particular mech, so I think, I think this is worth it. We're going to purchase that, and uh, that will be we'll we'll put uh we'll put one of our ai units into that cuz i still think this wolverine is better than the trebuchet but we've got uh so this is a kind of a custom variant it's not a hero mech but this is a hero mech and uh the hero mechs are just awesome and this one in particular uh is you know maybe i should just keep this trebuchet maybe i should just use this trebuchet because these missile boats boy do they Boy, do they pack a wallop. And I do like the anti-missile system. So maybe? But that Ultra Auto Cannon 5 is so useful with this Wolverine. I think we're going to keep that. We're going to keep that. So, uh, yeah. We're just going to keep that guy. Okay. So, let's... So, for example, we can go in here and we can paint. And we can come up with different uh, patterns. Uh, we can go with this Buccaneer one. Applejack. Uh, we can go with Davian if we like the Davian unit. Um, hot Rod. Actually, the Hot Rod might not be so bad. Uh, Polygon, maybe. Uh, Sherman. We can go with the Sherman look. Of course, this mech is a little damaged at the moment, so it may not be the best example. But, um, all right. So, let's see. Storm, Storm Surge. Oh, wow. And, whoa, that looks amazing. Ah, okay, this is a DLC uh, one where the color actually rotates. That's That looked awesome for a second until I realized, oh, uh, <laughs> that doesn't really work. Uh, okay, so we also got Vagabond, Virus, uh, Customize Seraph's Mechs for 666 channel points. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's awesome. Uh, so yeah, I, I don't know. Um, let's let's also change some of these colors. Um, let's go with. So, yeah, unfortunately, changing the, the this gets a little dicey. Um, let's go with digital first, because this tends to be a little easier to see. Maybe let's go with something like red for the secondary color. My. Yeah, there we go. All right, that's a better color. And then tertiary teal might be nice. Let's see if we can find teal. Teal's one of our company colors, so that one might work. 
Although I'm trying to find teal in here. There we go. That's more of a teal. Okay. Although, boy, when you actually look at it, it's hideous. That's so... Uh, that's that's beyond hideous. No, 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 no. Let's uh, maybe something, maybe something like gray. There we go. Gray is a little better. Maybe instead of this, let's go with a uh, orange. Something. Yeah, that's a little better. Okay. This is the, these these are better. Uh, not gonna lie, that one had me fooled into thinking I didn't have that one unlocked. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> Okay, so now that I've got these colors, okay, the hot rod looks pretty decent. <laughs> yep, let's do it. Perfect. Now let's kind of look through here. Polygon. Although now I'm looking at it and oof. Okay, maybe, you know what? All right, so if I copy that. Okay, now if I go into teal. That's still, that's just not, that's just not a good look. Okay, good. It does let me, does let me do that though. So if I, if I mess up, it's not too bad. Yeah, I mean, I'm thinking these are the only colors that I could really make work with that. Uh, that's not a bad pattern. It's not a terrible pat. Actually, that, that works too. Actually, tartan doesn't look bad. Hmm. What do you guys think? Or should I try re-examining the colors a little bit? It's one of those rare moments where I see Seraph not drinking from the red cup. Yes. So, uh, yeah, I had a, I had bottled water downstairs, so I just grabbed that. Uh, I'm actually out of my, my normal cups. So, um, you know, I actually have to finally run my dishwasher and clean my glasses. Uh, tiger. Ooh, that doesn't look bad. Uh, tartan. Snowfall. No, that doesn't really work with that. Let's go back to digital. Now, I'm thinking of all with this color scheme. Either this or this. Yeah, let's let's go with the tartan. Let's go with the tartan. We'll apply. Oh, <laughs> easier than painting miniatures, huh? Save as custom. Uh, yeah, let's go with uh, black sun. So now if I go in here, I can just apply it. Okay, so now we'll we'll go back. Uh, change this. Uh, apply. Okay, yep. Okay, back. Let's go to this. Now, we'll keep the hero mech the same. Uh, and we'll keep that one the same. But we'll paint, we'll paint this one. And we'll just go right up here. Apply. Yep. Cool. Now that one's okay. No, what are you, what are you doing? Is it? Am I crazy on this? It's not. Oh, oh, so lame. It doesn't keep the color. It just keeps the pattern. Really? Why would it? Why would it do that? But but why? <laughs> but why? Do I have to go to the other one and just write down the hex color codes to do that? That just seems. I feel like it's got that. Okay, you know what? Let's let's go back. Let's go in here. Let's paint this mech. Um, okay. So, select none and just select the javelin and the spider. Okay. Aha. I win. Okay. Now if I go over here. Yes, now it's got it. And so does this spider. Okay, that's one way to make that work. Not borderland. Uh, I use pink usually, so I know it's mine. Not take anyone else by accident, right? Playing the Borderlands games, I would usually pick the most obnoxiously visible colors. Yeah, that, that would make it easier to see easier, for sure. Uh, not Borderlands, though, but Ark. Paint my dinos pink. Yes. Gotta love the pink colors. Except you might actually take my car, uh, then, because pink is my go-to, too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Good luck. When I played GTA with friends, he had a pink car. My brain immediately thinks it's my car. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. Okay, so we got our... We got these painted. Oh, let's go and make sure there isn't anything here to buy that we need. Oh, we got machine guns. Let's buy a couple of those. Oh, look at that. Cleo found it easier to get to the windowsill. Look at that. Hello, cat. She's going to just 
help herself over here. Um, I don't need uh, any of those jump jets. We got those. All right. So give me two seconds. I'm going to grab some more water really fast. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over here. Oh, well, I was going to let everybody see you, Cat, but you jumped down. All right. In that case, I'm going to pause. I'll be right back. I'm going to grab some more water because I know I'm going to need it. <laughs> Hello, Cleo. So it took an extra minute. <laughs> no, bye, Cleo. <laughs> nah, she's hanging out by the stairs. But yeah, I was gonna. She was on the windowsill, perfectly in view. So I was like, eh, I'll just, uh, I'll just leave it on the just chatting, so everybody could just kind of keep an eye on Cleo for a minute. All right. So we dealt with this. Oh, there is a rare mech on the market, but at this point, I've kind of spent all my money. That's not helpful. I guess we'll go to, uh, oh, you know what? That's what I need to do. Paint you in the ready room. Uh. Ready for action. Nice drop ship, but boring as hell. You know what? Let's just go to the star map. Let's see if anybody's better at New Mendheim. New Mendham? Let's travel there. We'll take a look. We'll take a look at the, uh, cantina. Kitty, kitty. Now she's going to sit on my foot. <laughs> well, she's comfortable. <laughs> oh, my my feline co-host. Ooh, rare target acquisition gear. All right, so Nad's going to play in a second. I'm just going to shop here in a minute. In the ready room. Wow, these are actually... Finally! Got something for me, big boss? Yeah, because you're injured, so I need Finally. to... Finally! Got something for me, big boss? Well, his voice is obnoxious, but he's a you decent pilot. Me, I fight for you. Deal? We'll Deal. make it work. We'll make it work. That's not worth it. We'll buy that machine gun. Um, what else we got? What else we got that we might need? Target acquisition gear. That's pretty neat, and that's th tier three. We'll do that. We'll do that. Hell, I might even... Shit. I might even give that to somebody here. And those will keep... Oh, uh, let's go to the weapon groups. Yes. I think this will still be okay. I think that'll still be okay. Actually, let's go into the loadout real quick. Go into the details. Ooh, we got an engine heat sink. Okay. But damn, I don't have, I don't have anything to replace it with because I've got a double heatsink that I could put in here, but yeah, I just don't have any weight to take away anywhere unless I took away this medium pulse laser and just put a normal medium laser in its spot instead and then replaced the engine heatsink with a double heatsink. But and this mech doesn't really have heat issues, so I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, all right, so do I want to replace one of the medium pulse lasers in this with that target acquisition? Gear? That is an interesting question. Or do I just keep it for a little while until I've got a mech that I don't know what to do? Yeah, we'll just keep it. We'll move that over there. Uh, these, I think we're okay here. Let's go to the cantina, see what we got. All right, so collect one. Oh, look at that. Collect one spider mech. 
<laughs> and we could just get a million sea bills. So you know what? Yeah, let's do that. We need the money. Yep, perfect. Flame. Beautiful. So we just got two mech. Hello, cat. Uh, two upgrades here uh, pretty quickly. So now we have superior detonation. Ah, ballistic weapons. Ah. So yes, although boy, is that expensive. But plus five, plus five adds up. You'd be surprised how quickly that adds up. Um, yeah, I'm thinking we'll do that. Let's, let's go to Battle Max. Let's go to you. Upgrade you. And let's do plus five ballistic damage. Yes. So it's not really that big a deal. It's 58.3, but to 58.6 but because of how quick that ultra auto cannon is always firing it it's it's gonna add up a lot yeah that's worth it that is so worth it I'm glad we did that perfect this has been a great visit so far okay we're not gonna go back to the curator front line kill three jenner mechs we do encounter those a decent amount so yeah let's do that all right very good let's go to the star map Okay, so we've got this. Oh, we could go to the cantina here and see what's up. Yeah, let's do that. Let's see. Recommended reputation level six, and we do have reputation level six. So we could do the invasion. We could do the defense support here for Davian. We at least built up some rep with Kirita. Well, we could take a look at it and see which one we want to do. Let's... First off, we haven't saved in a while. Let's save. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we went from 287 days elapsed in game to 625. Uh, yeah, it was it was good that I saved. Oh, my goodness. OK. Now, the star map. Let's cruise down. Yeah, let's go here and let's do this one. Right, because the other ones are over here. We've got that one. That's a high reward quest. Oh, we've got a high reward quest in Barstow as well. Maybe it's the same one. We'll find out. Let's do it. What's up, cat? Are you a good cat? Yeah. You gonna bite my finger? <laughs> of course you are, you little shit. <laughs> Oh, man. All right. So we can either do the defense support or we can help the Curitas invade uh, at this point. Yeah, let's do the Davian support. I don't want to be doing one side so much more than the other. Let's take a look at the cantina. Collect two Panther mechs. Now we're not going to do that. Uh, collect one motorbike. What on earth? We could just do that. one, uh, Or we can go to the Apex Mining Syndicate. I think we're already at the yeah we're already at the creative front line let's do that one let's do this one it's just money but take it okay black market let's see Come on. give me machine guns yep we're working our way to the machine guns we only need four more now sweet okay star map oh yeah there's no missions here so where do we need to go? Ah, we got to go to Matar, huh? Well, shit. OK, well, it is what it is. I don't really see any other better options here. Let's do it. Hell, at this rate, Freeman might actually be uh, healed up out of the med bay. But it's still good to have an extra pilot in reserve. <laughs> okay, so hopefully we have that mission to do. Let's also go to equipment. Let's just see if those yeah, they're not a they're not available here. Okay, well, still couldn't hurt to look for machine guns to buy. Alright, so we needed uh okay. Actually this works. We'll do a mission for Curita, and then we'll do the mission for Davian that'll uh yeah, this is perfect. Perfect, perfect. Perfect. 
back though. Uh, yeah. Let's just take. Hey, <laughs> yeah, we definitely. We'll double our money. We need it because we spent all that money for. Uh, oh, okay, perfect. Perfect. This works. Yeah, Freeman is healthy again. Okay, well, but you know what, Lieutenant Calvert, you'll be replaced by Dickens here. Um, yep, perfect. You got a bunch of energy weapons. Yeah, this will work. This will work. Sweet. Okay. Slowly but surely, our company is getting upgraded. Our pilots are getting better. The biggest one is that the pilots are getting better. We're in combination of buying, hiring rather, a uh, new pilot. Oh shit, that sounds like a hell of a firefight out there. Yep. Oh boy. Okay. We're we're going right 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 into it. <laughs> oh boy, what are we walking right into? Oh. Oh, it's thunderstorm. Okay. I can't take a drink. You'll have to reek on the precise objectives on site. This area is heavily guarded, so watch out for hostile reinforcements. Be advised, Commander. One of the items of interest we're after may be found in this location. Try searching in the spot designated on your map. Apply. That tank actually did a nice job dodging my fire. Oh shit. Alright. That's how that's done. I don't see what we're supposed to be destroying at the moment. Fine. Now we head back this way. Oops. Hey, okay, now I can check my map. Yeah, we may as well just go forward. Fuck it. <sighs> I love pulse lasers. They weigh an extra ton, but... Yeah, we got a troll. See if we see it. I got it. Nice. I didn't even see it. I barely registered it on the radar. Wow, that thing was obliterated. So while I was installing the blinds uh, behind me uh, yesterday, uh, Cleo kind of appreciated that uh, I uh, modified her uh, scratching post. I took away the um, the very top of it because I realized that it was, um, and she's kind of like a big cat, so it was kind of difficult for her to kind of get up there. So she likes her scratching post a lot more now that it doesn't have that extra house on top of it. <laughs> He's so cute. Off the list. 
Come here, you. Goodbye, tank. Oh, oh yeah. Focus on that. Yeah, I just shot the health. You. Yeah, it's gonna be a problem. There we go. Headshot. Boom. Enemy nope. We're beating feet. <laughs> that was a pretty successful operation. Oh. Got more of these jokers. Wow, we just wasted that uh, wave of air support here. Let's get out of here. That was a PPC. So PPCs are particle projection cannons. All right, Rob, have fun, man. Or uh, have a good night. I will talk to you approximately later. Yeah, we're. I don't think we're gonna be up all that much later. But uh, yeah, so a particle projection, which you just see there. Uh, it stands for Particle Projection Cannon, and it's literally, it shoots a bolt of lightning. <laughs> so when you get hit by it, it kind of scrambles your sensors for a little bit. It's kind of awesome. Uh, yeah, we didn't even come close to uh, getting any of those. I actually do kind of like these small laser short burst. So uh, I think we'll take three of those. That way I have them if I need them. Just check. Yeah, nothing particularly useful there. All right. We did not. Oh my god, we killed 25 of these freaking things. Oh my goodness. Alright, job rewards. Let's do that. Let's get. Potent warheads. Ow, 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 ow. That's my foot, cat. That's my foot. You can't nibble on that. Hi, I love you too. What? What are we doing? <laughs> you gonna play with my foot? Yeah, you're gonna play with my foot. <laughs> you play with my foot. I know, I love you too, cat. <laughs> oh my goodness he is a character um what time is it oh it's closing in on midnight yeah i i think i didn't realize it was that late um i mean i knew it was kind of getting there but boy um all right so ooh, i could buy this all right let's do this real quick let's just buy this because that works all right let's let's do a little cleanup here we will cash this in, turn that in. We'll get some SRMs, which really isn't that big a deal, but we needed that. That was worth it. We could afford to do that. It was worth it. Okay. So equipment, we don't have any equipment. Um, and then we need to do this contract in system for that. So let's go to Battle Max. Let's repair, take care of some of this. Nice, okay. So work orders. All right, so it'll take us a week in game to repair. I mean, theoretically, I could just have oh not done the repairs and just done the other mission. But in my experience, for the little time it takes to repair that armor, it's worth it to go into a new mission fully, uh, fully repaired. Uh, just because you end up taking so much damage just in general. But anyway, yeah, let's. Uh, I think we'll we'll call this here. Uh, I like this plan. Let's uh, let's save. We will save. I think we're still at New Mannheim, right? Still. Right? Yes. Oh, it even said. Yeah. I don't know how I didn't know it was that late. I saved all of ten minutes ago. I saw the time. Uh, yeah, I just didn't register it. Well, <laughs> maybe my brain was quitting uh, more than I thought, and I just didn't even realize it. So, yeah. Let's exit the game. Uh, yep. Let's confirm. We're good to go here. Let's see who's on. Let's raid. Let's do a raid. Why not? Uh, oh, Dead's on. Yeah, let's let's raid Dead. Let's make this happen. 
All right, in the meantime, let's figure out what uh, what Seraph's doing here. Uh, so yeah, I might be streaming tomorrow, uh, tomorrow night, depending on how the game day goes. Although at this point, I think the better plan is going to be to just plan on Sunday night. And what I may do is do East 5 Sunday night. I'm kind of liking, I'm kind of digging that idea. Uh, but in the meantime, I want to thank, uh, I want to thank the, uh, Nate the Great for following. I want to thank Rex for following. I appreciate you all as always. I always have such a blast on stream uh, with everyone. Uh, I, I, my chat rules. <laughs> uh, you, you, uh, it, it, it is, it's always such a special time. Um, so yeah, Dead Fools streaming Sea of Thieves. So let's go raid him, say hi. And until next time, uh, I will talk to you all uh, approximately later. Uh, in the meantime, uh, hope you a great weekend. And if I see you, uh, I, I think we'll just plan for Sunday at this point. But uh, have a great weekend. I will see you all approximately later. Ciao.